You know, it's funny. Um, it's going to be an unrelated topic to what's on stream right now, but we're playing the, the Minotaur te theme from uh, SMT4. Uh, I was doing a little bit of research on the SMT games, and I kind of want to stream them. Um, sometimes I'm really into, like, really archaic games, and you might be like, well, it's not that archaic. No, I mean, like, the originals. I mean, like, SMT 2 and 1 for Famicom. Because uh, I know there's a translation uh, in the progress, and I think that'd be really fun. Because uh, sometimes I'm just like, well, CBT. SMT, CBT. Uh, <laughs> those games are fucking CBT, CBT4, but I know that um, the later games are way more balanced and more fun to play, but I, I like this, I, I read a little bit of the story of SMT2, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I, this is like unrelated to the game here, but you know, this is just conversation, I suppose, but like the games are about a post-apocalyptic Tokyo, where like a nuclear war has ruptured a dimension of demons pouring in and you're also locked into a matrix-esque system fighting a game and outside the game there's literal satan walking around in a post-apocalyptic japan like what the fuck um thor tries to nuke japan I, I i think i gotta check these games out i mean seriously it's like a gateway thing the music is really fucking good and all that stuff but let me tell you something right now <clears throat> This is not some sort of, like, subtle uh, Trojan horse to get into the Persona games. I will never play a Persona game, uh, but I will per play a Persona game if it's got a monkey in it. <laughs> Based. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was the unrelated topic of today. Check back in 20 minutes when I'm laughing at a picture of bananas or something anyway uh, we're gonna play some hypno space outlaw uh you know it here we go uh, you know it the monkey is you the player oh okay totally <laughs> okay anyway uh let's play some games man <clears throat> Let's see here. Unrelated, but I think that we had a bit of a hiccup thing going on with the stream a while ago with uh, the games essentially, or the streams, having a lot of like hiccups in terms of like, you know, lag or whatever. But I think that's all fixed now. I, I think like, the, the, whatever you want to call it, like there's no problems anymore. So I don't know what's up with that. But regardless, let's play some games. Let's play some Space Outlaw, in fact. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Joel, how am I doing this fine morning? I am great. I'm ready to do some Hypno Space Outlaw. And in fact, uh, once we're done with this game, it's kind of funny with certain games. Like, you know, I started Shenmue back in 2017. And th that was right around when Shenmue 3 was, like, you know. Um, and for... But it's not the same thing for Hypno Space Outlaw, in fact. But there's a sequel in the works for this. So... Uh, once I start this game up, we can actually start playing the sequel, sort of, you know. Joel, how was my dinner? Uh, I'm actually waiting for my dinner right now. I've been slow cooking a bolognese for four or five hours. And let me tell you something, that, that spaghetti bolognese, once I'm done streaming, it's got my name on it. Yeah, I've noticed that... Uh, <laughs> food, food topic here. I've noticed that you don't need to slow cook a bolognese. But for me, there's something about the flavor that, after a while, becomes really good. But I've... Uh, here's a secret to making a good bolognese. You cannot overdo it with uh, uh, blah, 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 garlic. The more garlic, the better. Like, I actually do way too much garlic. But I feel like once you slow cook something, the flavor's kind of dull after a while. So having a good garlic, uh, and a ton of them, I have, I have like four or five cloves. Um, it just kind of simmers into the whole thing, and it just becomes really good. Anyway, uh, and I also have a little bit of um, a little bit of soy sauce in it, like a little bit of Worcester sauce. You know, here's just me talking about spaghetti. <laughs> I told you we started off talking about SMT, and here we we're talking about fucking spaghetti recipes. You know. Uh, anyway, um, 
Joel, thank you. Well, more Italian than Vinny. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, Vinny and I in New York, we went to a bodega together. And um, it was kind of amazing. Uh, I, I shouldn't tell the story on stream, but screw it. It's, it's food for thought. You know, uh, me and Vinny went to a bodega and... He was saying basically, oh, I got to do my weekend shopping. I'm like, oh, let's do that. And he picked up like so many cans of Chef Boyardee. And I asked him, don't you hate that shit? And he just goes real close to me, like puts his hand on my shoulder. And is like, I love this shit. I don't tell him on stream, but this shit is my cocaine. My like, God, you smell like garlic. That story did not happen. But I wanted to tell you it anyway. <laughs> or did it? It was a lie. <laughs> it was, in fact, it was a lie. Please remember to always safety log off. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think Vinny would be caught dead eating that shit. Unless he's, of course, streaming it himself, eating like spaghetti hoops. <laughs> no, it's not called spaghetti hoops. What the fuck are they called? Spaghetti rings. What are the spaghetti hoops? Hoops is a basketball term. Like when you throw the basketball, thunk. You know? <laughs> spaghetti hoops, yes. Not fucking spaghetti hoops. Okay, anyway. Losing your data could mean hours of progress gone forever. We've done our best to restore your data, but if something is corrupt, there might be no hope of fixing it. So next time, play is safe as log off using the button to info bar. Uh, the next time, please remember to use the log off button here. Right, but uh, if I, if I, if I, if I if didn't do that last time. What are you talking about? Okay, well, it all comes down to this. Hit the space outlaw, TV spark sneak. Okay, it's all good. We didn't miss anything. All right. So we have a mass cleanup now. Uh, essentially, what happened last time, we were playing a, a game. And that game put us into like a sort of internet coma and we woke up like four weeks later and everything has changed on the internet. So everything now is like a, a whole new game, essentially. So we'll see. But we also got rid of uh, Professor Helper. Professor Helper was a bastard and he kept popping up. It was funny at first and then I started getting a migraine. So, uh, you know, but the problem is I had to pay for it. <laughs> he helped. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's go on the internet here. Um, I know I'm not always doing the best job of like flagging the content appropriately, but you know I'm kind of a dumbass, so uh, you know. Anyway, let's go on the internet. Uh, let's see what else we can. I mean, there's so much new stuff here now. So Hypnosis Central, anything new? Hmm. Let's end the debate. Is ramen another type of spaghetti? No, no, it isn't. That's like saying pancakes are tortillas. Okay, just because the, the 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 format is the same, no. Okay, absolutely not. I think in the East, you know, uh, way 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 back in the day, in some like Ming Dynasty, <laughs> some farmers like, hey, look at this, I can make noodles. Meanwhile, in Europe, some. Uh, some uh, vafanculo farmer said, Mamma mia, holy shit. What's this? Oh, bada bing, bada boom. <sniffs> Spaghetti. And I think they were created simultaneously. I I'm not sure, but uh, I I believe that they were independently created. So, <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so here we go. Hypnocure, got that. It's a guides. TV sponsor. Oh, we did this survey, by the way, which we got money for, and then we cleared out a doc, uh, Professor Helper. Actually, the Europeans copied it from the East. So you're saying we bootlegged from China? <laughs> I'm not sure where noodles come from, but I'm assuming somewhere in China in like the 10th century or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, who knows? Anyway, uh, Good Time Valley. See here, everyone wonder what happened to home cooked meals, good music, and putting in all day work in good time valley. Wherever the fate that you're to be, join the stand with Gooper Club now. 
Oh, 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 this is new. Oh, well, shit, hang on. If, if freedom... Well, that's not how Fred, Abraham Lincoln sounded. How did Abraham Lincoln sounded? Like... <laughs> what, what? Does anybody know? Is there any recorded audio? I need, to, I need to check YouTube. No. No, isn't there like a, like a gramophone that recorded them on paper or whatever? <laughs> Supposedly had a really high-pitched voice. Wait, seriously? He did? Okay. If freedom of speech is taken away, then time is silent. We may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Abraham Lincoln. I'm sick of being attacked by snobby 20 year olds sitting in a cushy, cushy, cushy office building somewhere. Get a life! This is not about a cartoon, it is about resisting the erasure of the work of a patriotic hero. A man who was willing to sacrifice everything for his country, W.E. Briggs. We honor his memory and we honor America by standing with Gooper. Okay, so now... Oh shit. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> You know what I could do? <laughs> yes! Y'all know, yo, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god, uh, this, this I feel so bad, but you know, this is this is what it must feel like to like be one of those YouTube uh, <clears throat> YouTube uh, content people, you know, the kind of people that sit around and uh, basically when you as a band for example, oh, I don't know, Scythe Lord, for example, just a random band, <clears throat> when you upload your own album. <clears throat> And you say, you know, this is us, you know, check it out, you know, this is not infringing on anybody's rights, because, you know, you're uploading a, an album, maybe, let's say, Earthball and Dystopia, for example, right? Just a random album, right? Uh, and then it gets blocked worldwide, and you get a copyright strike. So let's just hypothetically say you send in a an appeal to YouTube saying, this is my band. I am the singer. I own all the copyright here. Uh, and then you... Theoretically, that's to say that you get a rejected appeal from these copyright holders. <clears throat> A.K.A. YouTube. I mean, I just think that's great. <clears throat> that's a very hypothetical <clears throat> scenario that may or may not have happened. God bless. Okay, I want to see what happened here. Uh, here we go. Case at Gumshoe Gooper Comfort Infringement. Hello, Dr. Joe Drip. Great job cleaning up those Gumshoe Gooper violations. This whole zone has been a problem for the last two weeks, but none of us want to ban anyone over a silly goldfish cartoon. Hopefully, they retreat soon. Add a new Gumshoe Gooper case so you can cash in today's violations. Okay, hello. Hey, Dr. Joey Drip. I'm arranging a few normal cases for you to right now. But in the meantime, see if you can find a few more violations on your own. Thanks again. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Lincoln died 12 years before the invention of a sound recording device. <laughs> well, let's just say this. Let's just say this. Uh, if Abraham Lincoln was alive today, I think he'd definitely be a VTuber. That is my professional opinion. Okay. Guys, do you think... Uh, do you think Abraham Lincoln would be more into, like, Fortnite? Or, uh... Apex Legends? Just asking. Apex for sure. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, he was more of a PUBG kind of guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> anyway, stand with Gooper. Here we go. Uh, anything else on, on Gooper here? Oh my god. Laggy. Okay, well, we got a little extra cash here, but I... Uh... Wait a minute. Can I also ban this itself? I wonder. Hang on. 
Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> Go ahead, enforcers. Do your worst. <laughs> Go ahead, Twitch mods. Do your worst. 404. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got some more things here. No, no. Yes. There we go. Get paid! Uh, that's what happens. I can I flag the entire page? Yes, I sure can. Has been flagged. The Hypnospace uh, Police Department security team will verify all related violations. Interview Abby Wright's activity to decide if further action is necessary. If this flagging relates to one of your assigned cases, you may now close it. That's right. That's right. Now, did he put any... <sighs> no. Oh, there it goes. The end. Okay. Sneech. <laughs> Joel, did you see that the Mario movie got delayed? I saw that. And I... The reason I'm streaming late tonight is because I saw this news and I felt this such a catatonic, uh, inconsolable state that uh, I... I fell on the floor crying. I would, and that's why I'm late tonight. You can't rush perfection. DMC the American flags. I accept you all. All nomination for new a new leader. Hypnospace. The people have spoken. Okay. Elaborate for flagging. Uh, well, he he hasn't done anything here, but whatever. Okay. Let's head back here. Okay. Stand with Gooper. Abby's world. <gasps> oh no, Abby, what have you done? I'm sick of it. Oh no, no, no. Abby. Abby, no. Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am a mom, patriot, and a first grade teacher. I love my kids, and they are the world, and this is why I will defend them with my life. <sighs> this page is where it all began. You can see what it is left by clicking above. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back. Anything else? I love long forgotten. Hit the space as a page. The dumpster. Okay, that does that, I think. <sighs> all right. Hey, Joey. Jerma said you poop standing up. Excuse me? He said what? I poop standing up. <laughs> Do you lay down? But let me tell you something. I might be pooping standing up, but at least I can stand up. At least I don't sit in a perpetual sort of like crouch state and just shit around. That's right. <laughs> he admits it. See, the, the, the streamers are in like categories. And like Vinny, he shits proning, you know. Uh, Mike is more like a handstand kind of guy. You know, Jerma. Eternal sit sit sh sit shitting, and you know whoever. <laughs> That's healthy, Joel. Uh huh. Speaking my piece, I'm normally a very relaxed person. It takes a lot to get me angry, but guess what? I'm angry. There's something wrong when a huge company is so ignorant that they allow abusive pages to thrive while at the same time tearing down the hard work of hypnospace citizens. We're trying to make a positive difference in this place. I hope falsely that this hypnospace patrol department program would actually be an improvement. The problem here is that they got a bunch of snot-nosed, can't see the forest for the trees, 20-year-olds, to run the thing. Probably even the same punks who are using the hypnospace to arrest people. These people do not care about really helping, and they just click their buttons and call it a day. I came to this place to relax and make a new friends. Instead, it leaves me more stressed out than dealing with a bunch of six-year-olds all day. If this thing, if this, if things don't change, I'm getting a refund. You hear that? Buff. Foo, dude. Shit, I wish I could read. Okay. <laughs> oh, Abby. The missing are because HPC deleted half my page, so thank you very much. I wonder if she kept anything here. <sighs> Did I even flag this? Didn't this was unflaggable because it's so hard to see Gumshoe? 
Hang on. No, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad you can't even tell. Okay. Oh my god, here we go. Noble Warlock supports the stand with Gooper movement. My brother is a law lawyer is a lawyer, and he said there's no reason these people can't show pictures of the Gooper cartoon. So stop picking on my friends. Oh you've done it now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the Gooper thing too. The icon itself. These fools don't know the the death that is copyright. Blast their asses. Alright, let's see what else we've got. We got Abby's World, which I've been at. And I've got Stan with Gooper itself. Been the, on this page. Burning Rubber, here we go. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> okay, here we go, wait a minute. Get out of here with those Chinese bikes! Barclay Adams are the only, <laughs> the only big hogs for me. <laughs> those Chinese bikes. Keep deleting my cartoons, go right ahead, cowards! <laughs> okay, you got it! <laughs> okay, yeah, you got it. What, what a Chad. He just puts a ton of these on, on the page. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Also, but I see it on his page. It says Beef Brain Shield Pro. I can't see what the fuck that is. Hang on. Well, what time signature is this song? I'd say it's the same time signature as the Shags. Beef Brain Shield Pro, huh? Okay. You have reached the Hypnospace page of Carl, if you agree. Yes. This brain is protected by Beef Brain Shield Pro. Beef Brain is real. Look at this Microsoft view of a brain with Beef Brain. I will not go to your page anymore unless you have a brain shield. Sorry, but that's how it goes. Okay, maybe we gotta check this out. Are you protected? Well, I think I got I think I got Beef Brain earlier, by the way, by falling asleep in that giant uh, game that like corrupted everything. By the way, we should probably flag this page. Okay, he's been flagged. B. Burning. Earning rub air. Boon red! Live red and or. Okay, here we go. What if I told you that Merchant's Off has a dirty little secret? Well, I'm telling you now, it's true. The Hypnospace headband has been found to cause beef brain, a disease that is baffling doctors and sending regulators knocking at Merchant's Off's door. A medical brain scan of a person with beef brain. If not dealt with, beef brain will can cause exhaustion, extreme headaches, and even death. To form hypnospace's images and sounds, radiated electrons are beamed into your frontal and sidio lobes. When very bright colors are transmitted, the extreme radiation literally cooks your brain. That's right, hypnospace is cooking your brain. Until Microsoft fixes it or are shut down by the feds, it is very dangerous to browse hypnospace. But we have a solution. Our team of scientists and engineers have conducted over 1 million medical science experiments, which have resulted in the ultimate solution. Right? By adding the Beef Brain Shield Pro Radiation... <laughs> Wait a minute. This sounds a lot like the 5G fucking BioShield. Like, this game is parroting that, but... I mean, it's not that far off, is it? <laughs> By adding the Beef Brain Shield Pro Radiation Reduction sidebar to your page, you can reduce the risk of Beef Brain by over 800%. And the best news, Beef Brain Shield is completely free. Download your sidebars today and get this official badge to let page visitors know that you're protected. Now what's amazing about this is that this game predates that stream, I think. I did that stream in 2000... 2021, I think, didn't I? Or was it 2020? Uh... Whatever, but this game came out in 2019, so this parody, like, predates that, that later became a reality, so that's crazy, you know? Beef Brain Shield Pro, I'm gonna download it, download <laughs> see what happens. Child child barge. barge. Am I a Beef Brain Protected Streamer? <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. 
Oh boy, oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Don't. That's a minor. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Uh. Hmm. Does beef brain protect your health with stoner brain? <laughs> well, it was 420. Well, here we go. Oh. Oh, this isn't software, guys. This is this is just PNGs. This is just doing that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hmm. It's in the blockchain. <laughs> I'm gonna put one here. This brain is protected by that. Okay. Clear the snus out of your downloads, please. No, it looks good. It looks good. It looks very good. Your brain is protection. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, so we're done that. Am I protected? I don't know. Well, here we go. So. I'm guessing this game kind of ends around the year 2000 because we're all kind of like leading up to that year, I think. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, the cafe. Uh, you know, I kind of want to check on Zane. What's it Mushi? What's this? Squishers. Okay, that's Mushi. Meet Mushi, the first official licensed Squishers Hypnospace vir virtual pet. <sighs> I have to, I have around 182. I love that hot dad. Do not, Joel. No. But you see, I mean, last time Mr. Kill died, you're gonna kill it. Well, hmm. make sure to pe pet feed and clean up after mush Mushy. Click here for the virtual pet tips and an amazing new tree of life for pet. What's this? Virtual pet tips and tricks? What's this? While they each have violent different personalities, each hypno hypnos <coughs> virtual pet shares the same basic needs. This guy will help you keep your pets happy and healthy. Is your pet starving and can't afford to feed them? Worry not, we've all been there. Uh, the hypnos tree of life for hypnos are a new test series that grows food for your pets to eat. Okay. Fertilize the tree to decrease the time it takes food to grow. Keep an eye on the tree and when you hear the pop sound of a cocoon bursting. Okay, to monitor the health of happiness in your virtual pet, double click on the pet's icon. This icon should appear in this. I know that. Buy them food. Yes, if your pet's excrement poop is not disposed of, your pet's health will decline rapidly. Do not wave your pet's excrement poop in their face. It's not fun for them, and it shouldn't be fun for you. Hmm. But, but the thing is, is it fun for the audience? <laughs> okay. Hold down the left mouse button over your pet to caress and tickle them with poop. This will increase your pet's happiness. If your pet remains unfed and ignored, their happiness will increase. That is not ever gonna happen. Okay. There's Mushi. See, I'm gonna do this later, perhaps, because I don't feel responsible enough to take care of this this entity, you know. All right, Hypnos Year 2000 update is coming. Are you ready? No, maybe. Pleasures. You can deal with it later. For now, you will need money. Okay, let's see here. Uh, new Drug Runners game out now. Snub the Nub. <gasps> oh my god, the, the, the shonking the T-nubs. Drug Runners. Ronnie's Totally Sweet Squishers Art Contest. Okay, your art could be featured in the Squishers television ad. Send in your artwork inspired by Monarch Squishers. Again, for a chance to win your own Game Champ Portable. Whatever you're an awesome teen yourself, or a parent, or of a teen, have no fear, Ronnie's here. It sounds like Strong Bad, kind of. <laughs> Anti-drug, I want to see that, Drug Runners. Holy shit, guys, I played a game on 420's drug special that literally was like drug runner game, you know? Joel, 
You had a hamster virtual pet in part two. You ignored it and died. What? No way. Oh. Snub the nub. Need help. Throw my message on chit chat. Play my new anti drug game. Okay, yes. Click up and down, left or right button to move and cancel around it. Avoid the T nubs dealers. Okay. Put on speed boost move. Okay, but reach the end of a special. Okay. You can win a snub the nub song. Can you run from the evil T nub dealers and be the fastest drug runner of them all? Yes, absolutely. Let's give it a try. Okay, hang on. Downloading Drew Grun setup. One. Drew Grun setup. Guys, we're gonna shonk some T nubs. <laughs> okay. I probably should get rid of some of these uh, downloads, but nah. See, it's gotta be totally simulated how I deal with PCs. Never clean up your PC. And in fact, have some of the streams like delete themselves midstream because you've run out of space on C drive. So, all right. Well, let's give it a try. Here it is. I think. Oh, God. Uh, can you be the fastest drug runner? Oh, these controls, huh? Huh. You have actually done that. No way! Okay. Holy fuck, it's like new ground games or something. Okay. Above the influence. Okay, we gotta watch out here. <laughs> uh, remember the time you spill water in the PC? I do remember, yes. Okay, well... Uh-oh. Okay, smart, don't start. Okay, so... <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Guys... They got me. Okay, we're gonna restart. How do, how do you restart? Okay. So they always move in the same direction? Okay, okay, I, I get that. He looks like the Postal Dude. By the way, speaking of Postal Dude, did you know that Postal 4 actually released? Uh, about six days ago, it got released on Steam, and I kind of want to give it a try. Uh, the reason is why I specifically want to play it. There may or may not be a reference still in the game. Um, at least the early access had a reference to the Desert Bus stream in the arcade. Uh, this, this is true, by the way. I don't know if they, they kept it or not, but uh, yes, the early access had a reference to Desert Bus in the arcade of the game. And if you look at that arcade machine, specifically, it says Driver Joel. It's a very meta, obscure reference, which one of the developers put in. If that is Please still in the game, that I guess it's up for me, you know, <laughs> to see. Can you get banned for streaming that game? I think that's Postal 2. Uh, you know, who knows, who knows. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Hey, Vorkself, a sort of serious question. Ever since the Pepsi wine glass broke, and what do you drink out of Pepsi now? Nothing, I drink uh, nothing. Uh, I drink, actually, I have a Pepsi can right here, but I'll tell you something. I drink it out of the can. But there's a problem. I dropped this Pepsi can on the floor, which means that uh, it's dented and I can't get the um, the top up. It's like really, really dented. And like, it, no matter how much I try, I can't get my finger underneath it. And I'm wondering if I should just like puncture a hole in it and like shotgun it, right? Shotgun it. I'll do that. Hang on. Ridiculous. All right. Well, <clears throat> I have a fork here. I'm gonna try to see if I can stab one side here. And okay. Uh, again, if you don't know why I'm doing this, I'm trying to drink a Pepsi. Problem is, I can't get the thing open because it's dented. So I'm gonna have to stab with a fork and see what happens. All right. Here, here we go. Uh, one, two, shoe nice. I can't, I can't, I can't talk now. 
Like a heart. Browning. Oh, no. Well, maybe if I put my mouth. No, it keeps going in my face. No. Okay. The carbonation, the carbonation is going out a little bit, but uh, okay, I gotta tilt this somehow. <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Okay, the carbonation is left now. The thing is, I gotta angle this now because it keeps going out. There's Pepsi everywhere now. Uh, God damn it. I thought it would, I thought it would like go out quicker. It wasn't just like, you know, like a slow, pss, you know. Maybe now I can open it. No, maybe. <laughs> what a fucking dumb idea. Did you open the top? I can open the top. Heavy shotgun. Well, no, I, I don't know what the shotgun is. Just like drinking a soda from the side. Where is the hole? Hang on it. Are we just out in the fork? Well, in, in in the side. That's why you use a knife and have to open the top, you idiot. But can I? Okay, you know what? There we go. All right. Well, I I just chunked down a Pepsi here. Uh, guys, I might have to do like a B or B here because. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's just get a fucking glass. Hang on. God. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put it in here. Okay, you, you just stand there, okay? And eventually it's gonna be poured enough that we can forget about it. Okay, uh, back to the game here. I'm sorry. Uh, ah. Pepsi all over my damn face. <sighs> Why did I do this? <laughs> Alright, let's keep playing here. Uh, that, did, it ha did it hit the splash the wall? Oh, okay. Alright, anyway. Let's... I want to see if I can go up here and do this. Okay. Down. Oh, damn it. He got me again. Hey Joel, the voice actor of Council Ronnie here. Hope you're enjoying the game. Stay safe out of No way! No way! That's amazing. Uh <laughs> That's amazing. You know, it's funny. Uh, you know, I I I unintentionally draw a big audience of like um developers here. And now the voice actors are showing up too. But uh, I'll tell you something funny if you don't know about this. Um uh, uh the creator popped into chat uh, i think he's done that two times in a row now and last time we did this like little funeral for uh, our virtual pet and uh, everybody spammed f and if you don't know the f letter is banned in my chat uh it gives you a timeout for like a minute and uh the developer himself didn't know that so the developer of the game got timed out okay <laughs> no chat no okay <laughs> okay let's try this one more time I want that song though. Okay. So it's a puzzle where we have to. Okay, so if I go here and if I go left. Damn, there we go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Too. High on life. Okay, we gotta plan this. No problem. Look at that. Hey, kind of a fun game, actually. Look at that. Too. Joel, it's been like six years since we since that Call of Duty. Can we change the F command? No, no, we cannot. Okay, we are very stubborn on this on the stream. All right, things don't change. Comedy does not evolve. Brain does not grow. It shrinks. Okay, it's a tradition. Okay, so how about do this? I'm, I'm, could I? I think I could. All right, let's go down here. Oh, what's this? 
<gasps> okay, and you can go faster with it. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Chip's challenge. Okay. Go. No, that's not how it works. Zogged! <laughs> okay, damn it. They didn't mention on the on the browser how to use the boots, but um, let me do that one more time. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Go here. Uh, speedy boots. Put on speedy boots to move two spaces per turn instead of only one. Yeah, but that's that's what I thought I did. All right, well, give it one more try. We can do this. There we go. This game is actually kind of fun. I, I kind of like this. It's, it reminds me of, like, Adventures of Lolo or something. I, I kind of like it. I don't know. Okay, go up here, and let's start going. Okay. Okay, so... I know that... Wait, 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 what? No, no, I didn't put on the boots yet. No, I'm, wait, what? What? What happened? Okay, it's glitched. You had the boots on. Okay, but uh, okay, I'm not doing that right. I'm not doing it right. Last time, last time I do this. Wait, reset. There we go. Okay, now it works. Okay, well, uh, off we go. Take him off. No, 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 what am I doing? Okay, I actually see that the moves are being counted. Oh, you gotta have the boots. You gotta have the boots on, actually. The boots of Gringle Doof. Okay, reset. Okay, put them on. And then let's head up here. So how the f... Okay, so we gotta get up there. But how would I do that? Uh... Maybe if I start here? Like, if we start here? Yeah, but they have to move first, right? I think. So, like... If I if I go right now, are they gonna be in place or gonna be like dunk dunk or do I move first? Yeah, okay, okay, I, I know that now. Sucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, wait, what? I'm mighty confused by this the whole thing. You still have to charge to teleport back to the main entrance of any room. Okay. Uh. Wait, now I get it. Okay, you can start moving now. But then he still gets you. I'm very confused by it all. And the char if I reset, you can just do this. But if I move... Wait, no, I get I get it now. I get it now. Take off the boots. Move down. Is there a wait command? Needs chip challenge music. Chip challenge didn't have music. Okay. Wait a minute. If we go here, right? Uh, but listen, listen. If I move with the boots on now, he's gonna get me the next turn. If I go down here and I use the boots here, I'm gonna still hit him. So... Uh, beef brain. This is beef brain. Alright, let's use, use the charm. But if I move now, hang on, boots on, go here, left, that's how we do it. Okay. Oh, we don't want that. Okay, how is he moving here? Uh, can I go right, left? Uh, don't think I can go here yet. Let's see here, if I go up, left. Boots over here. Yep. Guys, there's a problem. We have a bit of a problem here. I kind of like this game a lot. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like kind of good. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I boots here and then go through here. Wait a minute. It's like, it's like a good puzzle game.
Wait, I get it. Charm? Okay, now charm, and now boots. No, 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 no. This is why I would never in a million years stream uh, Baba Is You. Because it would be such an embarrassing display of beef brain that... <laughs> No, 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 no. This entire stream is gonna be like drug runners, okay? We have to move on. We have to move on, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm way too stupid for Baba Is You. I gave a bunch of copies away to Baba Is You um, uh, for the Christmas giveaway. So, you know, it means you have to stream Baba Is You now. Okay, I will go back. To, we will go back to this game at some point, but uh, for now, guys, I have to check on my Pepsi. Hang on, where is it? Okay, the, the glass is half filled now. You hear the drip? That's the sound of a Pepsi bleeding into a can. Or ble bleeding from the can into a glass. Okay, anyway, let's go on the internet again. I'm sorry, <clears throat> Hypnos. It's an actually good game. <laughs> Reporting for duty! <laughs> Whatever you're an awesome teen, all right, Monarch, Game Champ, anything new on this thing? Gamers only, here we go, anything else? Let's check on Zane. I did a little bit of that last time, but... Uh, new updates below. We read his second volume of this comic, but... Okay, 10th grade. Stupid website award. Okay. Anything else? Can someone get me a FLST password? Is Seepage on there? Hey, Dr. Joy Drip. Did I tell you you could scroll down all the way down here? <laughs> Zane is the shit. <laughs> okay, there's a boomer shooting starring Zane now. I heard about that. It's like part of a sequel. It's like two games. Two games, essentially. Zane has a legit Doom clone spin-off coming to Steam. Yep, that's the one, yeah. Guns. What's this? Big C Studio Comics? Well, this is the one we just read, right? Yep. <laughs> I can't I can't listen to that C Pachong anymore. I'm gonna throw up. Okay. His anti-dumpster post is harassment? Really? I thought he quit. Nah, who am I kidding? Zane doesn't quit, man. Okay, hang on. Uh, well, hang on. Zane rocks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his his page is different. Okay, hang on. Zane. There we go. Zane rocks. Stupid award. Uh... Wait, is this shit still around? When he crapped on that that other kid? Is it weird that I don't ironically like this song? Yes. <laughs> now everybody goes, no, play it again, play it again. Okay, stupid website award, the dumpster. The worst of the award goes to the dumpster, more like dumpster. No surprise here, for it probably is written by a fruity fairy 30 year old. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's straight up harassment, all right? No, 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 can't do that. That's right, that's right. Remove due to violation of Hitler Space Law. You even thought it could give me a fake joke award and it'll think again. I knew the whole time it was fake. I was baiting you to see if you would fall into my little trap. Guess what? You lost sucker and now you have one Zane's official stupid website award. Idiots! Damn, dude. Who's the... Wait, what? Wait, not, not copyright law. I'm sorry. Harassment. There we go. There we go. The end. Hateful words. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I was just pretending all along. Okay. Have you checked the news on Hypnospace yet? Something really crazy happened. Oh, I gotta check that out, I guess. Alright. New uh, global news. Where do I check the news itself? Joel, stream on my birthday. That's right, Finn the Witch. I specifically waited for you to come online. And guess what happened? I said, here you go, buddy. 
Here's a stream just for you. Happy birthday. Okay, need help. Uh, what if you're new? New, here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, breaking one dead and seven injured in Cool Fest 99 helicopter crash. Aww. That's so cute. Guys, I, I, one of these days, I'm gonna dig out a cassette tape I made when I was six years old. Uh, when I was six years old, I had a little microphone recorder <laughs> and I made my, and I made my own news show and I made my own theme song you have to hear this fucking thing it's all in Swedish of course but uh I think it'd be hysterical to listen to I I made a news report about someone dying <laughs> but the thing is uh I didn't know what an ambulance was so I call it a hospital taxi <laughs> 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 Not wrong. Okay, uh, cool fist on a helicopter crash and an icy end to a rocky evening. Okay, let me put on my best uh, news anchor voice. Mere seconds after rocking cool fest 99 with his classic refrain of I am the Chowder Man. Eric Chowder Man, Hellman, and his Cruncher bandmates would attempt to end their performance in style by lifting off in his personal helicopter. They were not successful. Wait, I'm just talking to an infomercial asshole. And the chowder copter went down in a field. Not the chowder man. It just hit me. What? Went down on a field adjacent to the concert venue after becoming ensnared in the decorative scaffolding. Cruncher drummer Cuff Johnson died in the crash. Seven other occupants, including three fans who won a sweepstake contest, were seriously injured. Chowderman himself suffered a loss of his right leg. Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll bounce back. On one leg. Cool Fest attendees were already on the edge after a minor riot during the freezer set after he was allegedly caught lip syncing. Shit, man. Oh, that is big news. Alright, King Food shares search after news of Boppa's merger. Okay, this is a new era of co cooperation and unrivaled consumer value, and I, for once, couldn't be happier to see it, said King Food CEO Jack Kent after announcing a buyout of the longtime market share Boppa's Fine Meals. Boppa's has been a family company, says Boppa CEO Tyler Boppo. So it's a pleasure to enter the quite large King Foods family. You could say I'm surrounded by family now. So, so much family. Analysts speculate that stock prices for both companies may rise by as much as five tip no coin during the complex integration process. However, King Food CE cool. Cool. Richard Epson promises that the people who stand it to benefit most are consumers, whatever it's in their home, kitchens or state of the art yet affordable lunch counter restaurants. Our customers are the real winners here, Epson said. Tyler Bop was kindly escorted from the building. <laughs> okay. Oh, politics, my favorite. Election 2000. With the 2000s presidential election approaching, hopeful, hopefuls across the pol political spectrum are turning their eyes towards hypno space as the next political battleground. You know, some people say they're far left, some people say they're far right. Myself, I'm more like far ting. <clears throat> Third party candidates have also embraced this new virtual frontier with traffic party representative Jackson Jackson uh, and a <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a shit joke. Okay. Um, an independent candidate Roger Ellis committing to personal personally build their own presence and sleep time sometime next year. Okay. For the record, I don't give a fuck about politics. You know what I give a fuck about? Taking naps. That's that hot shit. Never trust a fart. Okay, 204 confirmed dead after coalition forces bombed a medical facility. Believe that house terrorist operatives. Okay. Um, the coalition are apparently denied accusations by human rights groups to, that its account, actions amount to war crimes, citing comprehensive intelligence and reconnaissance before each mission. This seems like I'm playing like a uh, SOCOM game or something like that. All these words mean nothing to me. I mean, it's like. Intelligent report, tactical, velcro shoes. Like what? What? Suck on. <laughs> Suck on these nuts. <laughs> okay. Any sports? 
American League football, uh, Cedars, Navy, Redbusters, Savannah, Minks, and New York Masons. Okay, I'm s it, I'm sad that they did not reference, uh, uh, what is it called, Mike Druk and uh, Bobson Dugnut. That's one of my favorite jokes. By the way, I just found this out, by the way. I, you guys should be aware of this. But there is a baseball game that came out, like, a couple years ago from, an, from like, EA Sports. And what they did, they essentially put in all the funny names as an Easter egg. Because they have an announcer saying all the names, right? Like that, right? And if you put in, like, Bobson Dugnut, he says, Bobson Dugnut, Michael Swirly. You know how. Scott Snavely. Maybe that's a like a quasi joke. I, I don't know. Bobby Cribb. Will Martinez. Maybe it might be a reference to it. I don't know. Sam Doof Jones. Sleeve McDyckel. <laughs> Doof. <laughs> Even Vox Kalthor. <laughs> Sean Furcott. Mike Truck. <laughs> and a Tolly Smorin. Okay, how's the weather? Today's weather. Be ready to take on the day when you wake up with the national weather forecast for Friday, November 26th, 99. Oh boy. Today's weather. Yesterday's weather. Okay, let's head back. Oh my god. I'm glad Shatterman's safe though. I was really, really upset there for a second. But, I mean, drummer's, drummer's dead, but... Uh, eh. Sports ball and weather. Full on boomer time. <laughs> Let's check out the cool because like oh god do they have a tribute page now cool punk alive and mail you've heard the rumors now the truth cool punk is hip what about rip capitalism capitalism keeps killing cool punk is dead cool punk has fallen those who will seek to exploit and profit from it are true killers they have to be stopped still they feed on its rotting corpse freezer lip syncing uh oh it's time to move on. Vinny? It looks like Vinny. I'm gonna look up human. Oh my god, guys, 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 guys. <gasps> Holy shit, guys! Vinny reference! Look, it's Vinny! <laughs> okay. It's my Pepsi. And it frees his horrified face after hundreds of people see him lip syncing his own song at Cool Fest. Clip it down to the video clip. I want to see this. Okay. Oh, my can. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's the download manager. Freezer sucks. <laughs> oh no! His horrified face. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. I can't believe Red Vox lip syncs. It was funny. It was funny when uh, it's Vinny, Mike, Revan, Joe. Uh, we were in the Red Vox studio. We were just fucking around, right? We jammed on some stuff, and I said, "Like, I'll sing on one song." <laughs> it's like really, okay, I'll do it. And I sang "Vomit in the Ball Pit," and I remember what Vinny said. He's like, "Dude, I'm gonna tell you something." Once you're done singing, I'm not touching that fucking microphone. <laughs> okay. 
release the tapes. Okay. I met Vinny at PAX this weekend and we talked about what it's like to meet you, IRL. Stinky. Okay, let's see here. Released album. There's no fucking album. We're just jamming out. Okay, uh... Never mind the lip-syncing sellout. Forget the helicopter crash. August of when I marked the real nail in the coffin for Cool Punk. Currently up to usually into sponsored zones. Oh, Jesus. But not what we are anymore. We are certainly not Cool Punk. Search this tag to be part of something new. The fungus scene. Oh, they switched genres. Oh, okay. Okay. Meet streamer. Asks them about other streamer based. <laughs> Okay, alive and well. Like, Kupak is not dead, it's only dead if people think it is, and I don't think it is. Dead? That's funny. Last check, I checked. Jan Jane is about to go on a whole world worldwide tour. Frieza was not lip-syncing in the video. It's obviously a special effect on the voice, so they had to record it ahead of time. Frieza addressed the controversy on his page. The lip-syncing was a mistake. See, you're all blowing this way out of purpose. <laughs> Uh, if your brats keep behaving this way, companies are going to go, go back to ignoring us. It's just not worth it for them. Lay off people. Support Freezer. I bought his single six times. Can you do better? Okay, anything else? Guys, the cool first thing was just a simple mistake. I sang during the rest of the set, but only this one clip gets passed around. You want it, you got it. Freezer's return with new music. Statement on the cool first 99 incident. Hey, my cool punks. First, I want to offer my sincere co condolences for the families of those injured during the Chatterman performance. Now, let's see the record straight on the lip sync thing. I goofed up. But I not how. But I not how you think. You see, I merely queued up the wrong version of the song on my laptop workstation. The one I meant to queue up didn't have vocals. At the st shows this January, you'll only hear the f real freezer. Okay. Down to freeze the ice world, okay, yes. That's that's funny. But I need to check on Chowder Man. I mean that's that's like Okay, here we go. Cool fest. Uh Chowder Man, here we go. Guess who's back? I know you miss me. <gasps> Crunch is here. There ain't no way you're gonna forget me. I'm ready to rock forever. Bring it. <laughs> Okay. Cuff my man, my best friend. I have let you down for the last time. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Fans or friends, I am deeply sorry for this tragedy. I beg you to have mercy on... Mercy on the chatter man. Oh. <laughs> tragedy. Tragedy. Okay. Hello, fans and lovers. Eric Chatterman Hellman here. As you know, we had a malfunction with the Chattercopter that was done for a cool fest. <laughs> Our faithful driver of 15 years, Cuff Johnson, lost his life. There are new words to express the angry <laughs> shit. We feel me and the rest of the band members and three fans of the Chattercopter were injured, which is also bad. Okay, our lives will never be the same. So please respect our privacy during these trying times, Chatterman. As a way to help our fans cope with this tragic loss, we're re-releasing the Chatterman's classic video for Christmas Pain in Christmas Town. <laughs> Downloaded here in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Hey, we're grieving. Buy my shit. Okay. Okay, here we go. Christmas pain and Christmas. Okay. <sighs> I love hot dad. Oh, 
I'm gonna drink a Pepsi for Cruncher, all right. Rest in peace, Cruncher. Can I open this up now? I'm gonna I'm gonna puncture this again in honor of of Cruncher. Here we go. It's going in the glass. From my main man, Cruncher. Drink up if you got one. These glisses and glisses and burgers is adding to this. They're like f funeral glizzies. Jump scare. What a tragedy, guys. What a tragedy. I can't believe this. <laughs> I love the line if I could slide down your chimney. <laughs> This is actually really good. I mean, this this is Hot Dad. Hot Dad makes fantastic songs. I love this stuff. Pain. <laughs> we got chatter in chat actually the moderator and he just said you can say F now for this one time But he said so without actually applying the on command. So now people are just dying again <laughs> God damn it <laughs> It was a lie <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. It was a lie. Blood on the streets. It fits the music. Well, it's a tribute, you know? It's not really a tribute, but it's like the song in the contextual way is, is a tribute to. Shadow says, I didn't say they wouldn't get timed out. It wasn't lie. Yeah, but you, you just said verbatim, you said the one time you can say F is now. You basically said, hey, drink this poison, it's allowed. <laughs> you should die.
Okay. That was amazing. Rest in peace, Cruncher. The best. The best. All right. But what a tragedy, man. A new band is in town and ain't playing around. Cruncher is Chatterman's on guitar and vocals. Kenny Masters on Terry and drum machine. Wait. <laughs> no, that's not the guy who died. It was Scuff Johnson, not Crunch. <laughs> Oops. Wrong funeral. Um. But uh, you know. Oops. <laughs> um. I mean, in a way, his band Cruncher died too. Yeah, yeah. Well, shit. Um, Cruncher is the band. The drummer is not Cruncher. The, the drummer is Kenny. Uh, no, no, it's Terry. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, didn't Chatterman lose an arm in the crash? No, he lost a leg. Dude, <laughs> fucking get a clue. All right. <laughs> they five cruncher songs, bet you can't. Christmas Pain and Shatter Man and the three other good ones. Drum Machine. Okay. What a shame. What a shame. Apparently there's, there's a post on the dumpster about this. Hang on. Dumpster. Enter. After we clifford your displeasure, I went to Cool Fest. This event was incredible. Cool Punk is finally dead, folks, and Cool Fest killed it. From the moment I stepped out of my car onto the ironically scorching pavement of this of the King Amphitheater uh, work parking lot, I know this was going to be special. Sandwiched between two enormous ads for extra thick chips. <clears throat> was the Cool Fest ticket window. Waiting patiently in front of it were 200-ish people. Not quite the 5,000 person turnout the Cool Fest planners were hoping for. Here's a highly scientific pie chart of the Cool Fest attendee types. Confused 45-year-old Chatterman fans, 15-year-old Cool Punk kids, and parents of 15-year-old Cool Punk kids. After grabbing our tickets, a venue attendant had us form another line at the op opposite end of the venue for a promised Joe Man merch. Only the cool p punk kids and parents hit the line, with the Chowder Man people heading inside to get good seats for his opening act. After waiting for nearly an hour for the merch to show up, the sound of tire screech called our attention to a truck speeding towards us, knocking a few trash cans over on, on the way. Some sweaty guy emerged with a single box of Joe Man keychains. No shirt and no free gray Grace Peak. Cola, as promised. People were pissed, and the keychains were used as projectiles throughout the rest of the evening. Chatterman had already launched into the Chatterman's hotel room when me and the gaggle gaggle of cool punk kids and parents arrived at the stage. He followed up with some eight-minute song about shaving, a couple of newer rap rock songs with his new band Cruncher, and an encore <coughs> of an extended version of the Grey Peaks jingle. No one really cared of seemingly particularly no one really cared or seemed particularly into his stuff until the Grace Peak thing. Then it happened. A helicopter landed on a platform in the middle of the crowd, and the band and a few fans from backstage hopped aboard. I was surprised that the thing was even made in made it in safety with all the wires hanging around. As I'm sure you all know, Chowderman crashed his copter, old Chowder's leg had to be amputated, and their drummer died. I can't bring myself to be too awful about this because it was harrowing to watch. You'd think they'd call it a night after a helicopter crash, but no. Cool Fresh continued. An old guy from Grace Peak, a guy named a guy in a gentleman costume, and a few merchants of people came up and gave a speech about how amazing and dedicated coupon fans are, and threw a few shirts into the crowd. It would have been weird anyway, but the crash just made it completely surreal to watch. Freeze hit the stage next and played for only 15 minutes before it became unclear that he was lip syncing. The Copan King started yelling mild swear words and started throwing their job and keychains on stage. An old guy came out and told everyone that the cool fest was over and that was it. Needless to say, this event exceeded my expectations. Wow. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a funny story. I, I mean, I, I kind of know what this is parodying. This is sort of parodying, I'm guessing, the Guns N' Roses and Metallica concert in 93 or 92, I believe. If you are if you don't know what happened, um, no, I want to say it's Woodstock 99. It's more so like everything goes wrong. 
Uh, a brief summer summarization of what happened. Uh, Metallica was performing in 92, 93, and James Hetfield stood too close to a pyrotechnic, and he was, like, standing right underneath it, and um, it scorched his face and arm, like his skin was melting off, essentially. So they, they had to cancel the show. And there were like six, seven songs singing or whatever, which is terrible, you know, uh, but he still has the scars from that today. You can look it up. But uh, yes, but he was rushed to the hospital and all that stuff. And he was he was describing as my skin was bubbling as it was melting off. Terrible, terrible. But anyway, so people were like, holy shit, you know, because the concert was cut short. But naturally, of course, people like understood that. But then Guns N' Roses was going to follow that up because you had Metallica, the biggest heavy metal band in the world at the time, and then you had Guns N' Roses like following it up. But guess what? <laughs> Axl Rose didn't want to go on stage because he didn't feel like it. <laughs> so after having Metallica cancel, Guns N' Roses just said no. And then people rioted and fucking tore the city apart. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> he took a nap allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, let's see. Oh, I gotta fix up the monitor. I think it's being a little glitchy. But uh yeah, that's that's your Oh, sorry. Did my mic cut off before I said I was gonna be right back? <laughs> Is that what happened? Yes, okay, I was just saying, quick BRB, I gotta fix my monitor real quick. And I guess it cut out just about then. <laughs> Sorry, oops. All right, I had a little bit of a taste of my spaghetti and it was great. So hopefully when the stream's done and I've done a, a long ass stream today with a bore art, I'm gonna be like, yes, my reward, spaghetti. Right, <laughs> mm, spaghetti. Anyway, uh, let's keep on going here. Uh, so if you don't know already, uh, I, I don't have a, a, an assignment right now in the game. I've progressed to the point where the game where like it's it's free mode essentially. I think I, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, I I, I used to go around flag things, you know. Um, uh, good time valley. We're gonna check on Boppos. I mean they had a they had a business thing going on here. So here we go. Their salt serene Boppos extra thick chips are the yummiest chips in hypnospace. Mmm, the list goes. Signature gourmet beef franks. Pick them up at your local Remy's or ask for our Bapa's dog at your workplace lunch counter. Uh, mention the Sip the Space page and receive a free condiment packet. Extra thick chips. Look for Bapa's extra thick chips coming to your lunch counter this fall. Delicious. Let's just do this. Uh... Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, see what else we got here. Audio software, Tears General Store. Look, my new deals are hot. Welcome to Tears General Store. Here you can find all the highest quality grounds, stickers, screensavers, and more for all in one location. Okay. The question is though. Oh, yeah. Terry's Outdoors Backgrounds and Sticker Packs. Okay. Thanks for all the help to Gearhead Greg for getting these stickers for sale. What's this? What in the world? Picking a secure password. Okay, check out my... Okay. How in the world do I pick a secure password? Right. Uh, one question I got almost every day is how to best making up a password that's online criminals won't be able to guess. Here's a good method. Use a personal information that only you know. That is personally ha, my favorite method. A great example might be the city you live, your favorite hobby, and your birth year. So if you live in Denver, you're 29 and your favorite hobby is computers. Wow, mine too. Your password would look like this. Denver computers in 1970. Good luck cracking this password, the hackers. Let me guess, this is a clue for something I gotta do soon. <laughs> you know, it's funny, my dad... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say this, but... My dad... <laughs> it has literally password one for everything. And then he goes to me and asks... How do I protect myself against hackers? Because he doesn't, like, know what a hacker is. And I'm like... I don't know, download Norten antivirus. Like, oh, that's a good idea. 
<laughs> Prodigent. Norten. Can hit me or nothing. Okay. Chit chat. I wonder if chit chat eventually is going to be released for the 2000 edition. I don't know. For Flaming OS oh, it came out in late. Late 19. Wait, wait, it's out? Uh, no, is it? Is it, is it working now? Oh, damn it. Okay. Chit chat. Let's keep on going here, see what else we can find. Copunk Paradise, open eyed. Okay, you are Chris. Don't lose your mind, literally. Protect yourself against beef brain. Well, we saw this last time. Uh, and I have this <laughs> magic orb. The orb knows all. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask a question to the orb. How about. Okay. Um. Hmm. If you didn't miss it, I asked it a question about if chips were dinner, and I, I got the wrong kind of answer. Let's just say that. Okay. Is the fecal funny? <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, how about this? Is the sink funny? Is... Is the funny sink? Is the sink funny? It knows. Okay. Is stinkyforge.com available as a purchase domain? The reason I asked this, and this actually came true, I looked it up the other day. You can buy stinkyforge.com for about $40,000. I'm not even fucking kidding you. Do not do it! Do not do it! Okay, do not ruin your economy with this, alright? <laughs> do it! Will chat do it? <laughs> Thank God. Will I do it? Will I not buy stinkyforts.com? Fuck you. <laughs> God damn you. Okay, uh, let's see here. Magic Orb. Bring back Net Settler support. Hypnocure Pro is a scam. Professor Help. Prof let's see what Professor Help is up to these days. Uh, is it still you scamming around people? Oh god, I'm not pressing it again. No, 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 no. The freebies. Download him again. No. To his general store. Okay. Want a sticker decoration for your desktop? No. Computer. Shakespeare. Flamingo. Hmm. Someone said you are required to download him for progress. Uh-huh. Thank you, Professor Halper, but not today. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see what Sherry's up to these days. Um, exorcism testimony, Gus Temple Serenity. Okay, she definitely took off the, the cash cash money thing. You know, so that's good. Look on my friend's page. Oh, they buddied up. The bazaar. Okay, there he is. There he is. All about Gus, single and looking, like spirituality, meditation, good conversation, romance, healing techniques, computerized artwork, world music, religion, religion, ominism. All religions are beautiful in their own ways. <laughs> what if it, like we make a religion and we just take every religion ever and we make a super religion, you know? Even atheism. <laughs> like just <laughs> fuck it. Religion too. <laughs> the Romans tried that. That's literally in Futurama. Oh damn it! Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we got? Um, anything on the cafe? There's nothing on this page. Told ya. Okay. Yeah. 
Samantha, hey, I'm a pr new program working in Merchant Soft. Yeah, look at this. Well, this job is keeping me busy. They're doing some exciting things here, and it's hard not to get caught up in all the excitement. It's exhausting. In a good way, of course. My time here is working between fixing bugs and working on the year 2000 update. With less than two months to go, I'm not sure how we're going to finish it all. I sense that this is normal for the tech world, so I'm sure it's just me being new. Till next time. The merchant soft itself. Well, they sure updated. All right. Adrian Merchant, the entrepreneur, and Dylan Merchant, the barely out of school whiz kid, made waves in the tech world with the launch of Net Settler in January 97. In October 97, the Consumer Neurotechnology Techn Research Foundation, in collaboration with the Merchants Brothers, wowed their world with a press conference demonstrating their market ready sleep time computing technology. Hypnospace was released to the public one year later. And there we go. Who else? Roddy Wall, Artie Spencer. World renowned musician and personal of the breeze of music I did out of our yes. Man, I'm so glad Shatter Man is safe. Like I was I was ready to cry. I was ready to cry. Joel and Vinny. You're right. That's right. Just like us. <laughs> okay. Uh Dylan's page. Anthony with Dylan. Secret project. There's Dylan. Okay. Hey, Groovin, man. Look at that. Let's see if Adrian's page is different. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about that. Jazz. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Here's Gearhead Greg. Control Q, cycle through applications, very helpful. Control Tab, oh my god, look at this. My short, this shortcuts actually work? Oh, they do! I thought it was just like a scam, but... Okay, enter, the same as clicking yes or okay. Close any window, go to your zone selection page. Watch me forget about this in five seconds. <laughs> yes, sticky notes, chit chat with Melissa at 4 a.m., don't forget. Very welcome addition to Hypnos. Double click this icon and a sticky note to your... I'm not gonna try that right now. Wait, how do I do that? Reading comprehension, everybody. It's important. Click this icon. Oh, so it's the icon itself, okay. And that's here. Oh, nice. Ooh, I can type anything I want. Uh, the, wor the word bed looks like a bed. Okay, don't forget. Whoa! Okay, page loading speed. Wiggle your mouse cursor wi wildly. Yes, there we go. If you use this animation link back to the page, I have pro provided an example, otherwise you are stealing. Really? No joke, while moving a cursor around will increase both downward and processing speed in hip Hypnos. None of us in the Hypnospace tech lab are sure why it works this way, but we assume it has something to do with increased brain activity inherent in moving an object about. Weird! Okay, let's update a page with a rude and ignorant comment about my password security page. I appreciate the concern, but leave this one to the professionals, Connie. Oh, is that harassment, perhaps? It's helpful and well-meaning individual, but I will strongly advise against using this password security tips, right? Okay. Important, okay. Due to the recent issues surrounding Net Settler and Hypnospace page builder formats, many of the connections listed here are no longer functional. Some pages appear with unreadable text and broken links. <laughs> this does not happen. Okay. Anything she mentioned about... I'm already these issues. Do not message me about it, okay? Well, you see how many people have used Net Settler and figured out how to support their legacy software. If this doesn't happen, I have no choice but close Connie's connection and move it to another sleep time. Okay. Okay. One of the world's page may create a learning. Okay. Gaming news page. She doesn't really mention anything about the password system, but let's let's see let's see what she means with that. 
Okay, uh, Connie stopped their page with a rude and ignorant comment about my password. I, don't, I can't see that, but probably missed it. Anyway, hi everyone, don't share the T-Nub hoax. My niece is in high school and has never heard of such a thing. I tried notifying Council Ronnie that it's just a hoax, but no reply. Just for your information. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Mario. 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 It's me. Maybe it's just her message. Okay, that's, that's definitely not harassment, but... Uh... Real Mario. The real reason the Mario move was delayed. Mario. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, anything else? Chit chat, picking a secure password. I'm guessing this is very important for something later on. Error messages. What's this? What in the world does this error mean? Hypnos is great at being user friendly most of the time, but its error messages are often cryptic and seem to make no sense. Here's the error message and their meanings. Okay. Unrecognized file type. Your hypnospace headband have been damaged. Okay. Interesting. Encryption page. Which files do you need encrypted? Unofficial sandwich encryption hypnospace info page by Gearhead Greg. Okay. What's this? Ever see a file that looks like this? That's a sandwich file. Sandwich encryption is a file encryption and compression tool made by Sam Parker. Rest in peace. And Roddy Wall, who now works at Merchantsoft in 95 for Flamingos. Why sandwich a file? Well, any reasons. Smaller file sizes protect files from the mindless masses because it wasn't a mainstream commercial product. Only elite powers users know about sandwiching files. So is, this, is this seven zip? Is this win zip? This has led to a few of less than savor uses of the software, but most sandwich users are good and honest folk who have nothing to hide. Sandwich and Hypnos. While Sandwich is, isn't officially supported by Hypnos, there may be a way to decrypt locked sandwich files. You'll have to chit chat me for more information. This might come in play later. Roddy Wall, as mentioned above, he helped invent Sandwich. Maybe uh, may also be able to help. He's currently working in Hypnospace Virtual Pets game and has a page in Hypnospace. Okay. Hint, hint, hint. Okay. You have a sandwich file right now, actually. It will be important later. Really? I do? Where's that? Oh, I do. I do. Encrypted file, huh? Okay. Is there any way to, like, drag it out? Hmm. Interesting. It's very important. Find out a way to open it. Maybe I need some like a WinRAR service. I'm not sure. Hmm, a food. And it was it found encrypted with sandwich compression encryption. Okay. It's a virus. Okay, I have a question, guys. Do you put mayonnaise and butter on a sandwich, or do you just pick one? Cause I, I don't know which to pick. Both, both. Just mayo. What? Mayo and mustard. Yes, butter, right? usually. <laughs> ketchup. Actually, I don't mind ketchup in a, in a sandwich. And I know what you guys are gonna say, like, what? No, let me tell you something. When I was a kid, sometimes a really good snack was to take two sandwich pieces, right? And you just put cheap ham, cheap cheese, and ketchup. And you just go... <coughs> and then, like, flip it around in a, in a sandwich press. Classic! I like it! You know, uh, Butter one slice, mayo the other. Eh, Swedish food. Okay, well this might come in place later. Uh, we'll see. Anything else we got? Uh, Hippospeed tips? We saw this already, so... You said admit you eat chips for dinner? I can eat chips for dinner if I'm like completely desperate and I have nothing, and I mean nothing to eat. I'm not gonna starve to death, but that doesn't mean that I can't just like drink all the shampoo in the house. You know, shampoo is just as much dinner as chips is. You can eat drywall. You can eat. Uh, you can eat time itself. You know, that doesn't still mean it's not dinner. I mean, it's just. <laughs> you know. So what you're saying is chips can be dinner. Yeah, but you can also be stupid. Do I eat nachos? Now I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Do you know what a chip buddy is? Yes, I know what a chip buddy is. I had a chip buddy. 
It's not a chip buddy, but chip buddy. I'm gonna upset a lot of UK viewers by doing this, but I had this. And I gotta, I gotta be super honest, guys. I, I don't know what I thought about this. I, I made this a while ago, and I'm like, dude, what, what? What it is, it's two pieces of bread with, like, french fries inside of it. And it, it, it was just so, such a boring sandwich. It was just like, <sighs> yep, yep. It just felt like I was eating a million carbs. <laughs> like, I, 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 I. But some British British people swear by it. It's just not my kind of jam, huh? When it comes to sandwiches that I that I'm into, it's more like this for me. Here's a bit of a classic. Oh shit! Yes, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, the water sandwich from New Zealand. It's got bread and water. Water sandwich. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> mm. It's like how you made oatmeal, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's go back here and see what else we got. Uh, let's head to the open eyed one. See if we can find anything here. Net, net Settler Support, what's this? It seems that my page slipped through the cracks when they hit all the Net Settler pages. Good, but Merchantsoft is the worst company ever. Bring back support for Net Settler pages or else. Not sure what you forgot, but without us Net Settlers, Hypnospace wouldn't even exist. Look at you, what you did to my page with your newest update. Punch. Oh, what? <laughs> it didn't even work before. I guess it's a JPEG. All my tech is completely unreadable now. Thanks, jerks. Update. No, I will not be paying for your exorbitant or exorbitant Hypnocure Pro fee just to be able to load my own page properly. Clicking a safe mode button every time a page loads is not an enjoyable way to browse Hypnospace. <laughs> you know what? You know what's so awesome about like companies transparent greed? I love when because I read something that there was some new game coming out, and basically the the big cigar smoking like Activision people are now saying like, people the gamers don't like NFTs. They see red if they see NFTs. So like, people have made their sort of <sighs> voices heard, so they understand that they don't like NFTs. But what I love about when people are pushing NFTs onto gamers, it's so abundantly clear. It's just to make more money, right? But there's nothing funnier to me in the world than hearing a company squirm and try to bullshit their way to justify their greed, i.e. Because they just want to make money, right? So what they say, why do we have NFTs? Then they come up with some bullshit like, to make it more fun. <laughs> To make it more fun for everybody. Funny! <laughs> Fucking hell. To make it more... Uh, fun points. Get fun. Okay. Uh, more fun for my bank account. Okay, so... I might have to get this Hypnocure Pro thing because... Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe it means something. Hang on. Hypno cure. It's coming. Are you ready? Might as well do it. Oh, jeez. 499? <laughs> virus quarantine removes viruses. I'm going to get the whole thing. Jeez, there's a lot of money. Bye, bye, bye. I guess we just have to do a couple of jobs. Janitor, 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 janitor. Somebody mentioned that last stream, but I don't know what that is. Janitor. Janitor accountant fun. Oh, what's this? Tip space friend said how you're doing by entering text here. Welcome to your job, janitor. What's this? Want to earn hypnocoin. Okay. 
It seems like a virus. <clears throat> Are you qualified accounting professional over the age of 18? Good, because become an independent contractor accountant for Roydon Capital. Okay. Today, by clicking below, by installing a janitor accounting software, you agree to the terms at the bottom of this page. Uh-oh. How did the job to make crypto coins? Okay, make piles of five documents by dragging documents over one another. But compile files in incinerator to make bit well hypno coin <clears throat> only if you deem it necessary for your job. But in fact, the files in this incinerator immediately. Downloading janitor. Uh oh, I'm gonna be cleaning up the poo. Okay, well, let's give it a try. I guess it's another virus. Oh man. Uh oh. Oh, please don't fuck me. Okay. Right. Welcome to your job. <laughs> okay. Mop minion. Security clearance need to open this file. Okay. So, I gotta stack them? You lost and now restart. Wait, 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 wait. Incinerator, right. That's how we do it, too. Okay, well, here we are. Can I stack them? Isn't that how we do this? Landfill. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, hang on. You lost and now restart. Jesus Christ. Okay. Beef brain. Okay, can I, can I just... Yeah, I can just do as much as possible. Alright. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, hang on. I'll get a couple more. I got a couple more. Okay, I'm gonna get a full combo. Are these f actual files? I, I don't know. Do you guys remember that uh, Mac destruction video I did? A stream? Oh, you can't you can't make him too much. It only stacks. Okay, hang on. So we can't do too many, or shit starts to yeah. But I did a Mac destruction, and we had this thing called loose loose. I think it was called. And it was a shoot 'em up game that uh, basically, if you uh, <laughs> you played it, and the files on the Mac itself was the enemies you shot at. I think it might be in the Windows Seven destruction video. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, yeah, guys, I gotta be honest. Am I doing a shitty job? Okay, and one more would just crash it, right? No, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You gotta exactly have that. Okay. And then it takes a little while for it to, like, okay, blow up. So, one more. And you gotta... Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. The question is... I'm not getting any money from this at all. Do I gotta click on it? Is that it? Am I even earning anything from this? You get one. Oh shit, you can't do those files. Right, 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 I get it, I get it. Level up, okay. And now you get four, okay. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, this is sort of fun, I guess. Damn it, okay, I need to stack that more, I need to stack that more. Okay, my, my beef brain files, all that jazz. There we go, get a couple more. To put these in this incinerator because yeah we need to get rid of them they stack too much on the desktop there we go i used to have this i think i talked about this in one of the destruction videos but uh i had this thing called important business expenses oh jesus <laughs> um, i used to have this thing called like bubble desktop or something like that and what it was was this like 3d engine i know a lot of people have 3d engines now but this was like in 2008 and it wasn't like that great but I had a lot of fun with it what, what was it called guys you know what i'm talking about bump top bump top yes i used to have bump top on my desktop it was like a 3d engine to have your files and shit uh on on your desktop and it was really fun but it was also kind of impractical because things would like slide around and not be as good as just doing this you know but, uh... <laughs> Does anyone remember bump, bump Top? Okay. I'm gonna keep on doing this. It's kind of fun. Okay, one more. And then we get this. Yes. Yes, the landfill. 
What are these files that I'm dropping in? And one is like important. Here's receipts and here's... What is this? Receipts. Do you guys keep receipts, by the way? Like, every time I'm at a checkout or something, it's like, do you want the receipt? And I say, sure. But I don't know why, because I used to throw them away anyway. I just say, like, nah, it's okay. I just, like, keep them in my pocket and be like, oh, look at that. Something I bought a year ago. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's not that how you do. For expensive stuff, not, like, for food. But that's that's my, my point. Like, I keep it for, like, really stuff that doesn't need a receipt. Like, I'll buy, like, a like a Twix or something, and I'll just be like, Wow, I really need this, you know? <laughs> okay, oh shit, okay. I'm fine with that, I got a little extra money from that, but alright, cool. Cool little game. The ink on them will fade. Can you combine landfills? I don't think you can, but... Alright, well, let's keep on going on, on the browser here. How to do it, make Hypno coins. Okay, build downloading. Uh, agree. I wonder if we can report this page for like bad software. No, I couldn't. You know. You can report the gender page for malicious software. Really? But try it? No, really? Malicious software. But it's, it, I mean, it's not. Is it? <laughs> Really? No. Download Is it? Janitor. Oh, it's a download link only. Okay, I see. Really? Well done. Okay, well. <laughs> there we go. Removed due to hypnovile. Okay, well. Not not bad. Uh, busted. Scammer. Dear friend, hypnospace friends, that you're only... That you're doing by entering text here. Mm-hmm. The fun police. But I still kept the EXE. <laughs> I'll download it before removing it. Okay. Message received from dispatch. Oh yeah? What's going on here now? Okay, hello Dr. Joe Drip. Whoa, so this Janner program. Surprised that it hasn't been passed around more, seeing it's a source of endless hypnocoin. Seems like a pretty poorly thought out scheme all around. Good find. Making the do. Okay. This is the Janner itself, huh? Important message received from dispatch. What? What's up? Hey, there's a malicious software notice regarding unauthorized speed boosting software reported as in Starport Castle Dream Station. Please utilize your enforcement to report it and remove the Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's, that's a RuneScape dragon, look at that! A message to the Hypnospace CEO, Adrian Merchant. Welcome to Starport Castle Dream Station, a new zone where fans of fantasy, science fiction, and other niche interests may converge. If your listed pages appear in one of the following zones, they have now been relocated here. A new zone for all you geeks, nerds, and other citizens with a niche interest. This is a fetish zone. Okay. What's this? Yeah, it's a fetish. It's a fetish. The Bullring has moved to the Sai Freelance. While I still love the Merchant Brothers, I believe in Merchants of as a company. I feel it is only right to stand with my friends in these trying times. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Sad has come to this. I support my employers, but I also support my friends, so I've joined the Freelance. <laughs> Manipulated fetish image. Okay, uh, Linda... Okay, Linda has moved here now. More info, here we go. Sovereign uh, Alliance of Imagination. Because Merchantsoft has, has seen fit to merge our zones, no warning and severely limit our download speeds. The remaining members of the five deleted zones have come together to form the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. We've decided in unison to list, delist our pages to form our own zone, free from the control of Merchantsoft. Okay, why move? In October of 1999, merchants have destroyed five of Hypnospace's strongest communities by condensing them all into one zone. Our, now, our pages now load half as quickly as well. No one knows why it happened, it just did. Out to heaven. Do you guys, I gotta say by the way, I developed a psychic sense as a child because when I used Internet Explorer and you had the little bar of blue going beep, 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 like that, right? I like somehow knew. Like, if I just, like, looked at it, 
and I looked away really quickly, it would load faster. Like, beep, 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 you know. It's like, don't look at it, and then look back. Now it's a page there, you know. <laughs> like, if you looked at it, it didn't work. Anyway, everyone is welcome. Connect, uh, blah, 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 blah. Making our own zone list. Okay, but first of all, we need to see... It seems that the password of multiple merchants of personnel have been recently compromised. Please change your password immediately, especially if you have access to our code base. <gasps> Can I now go into Adrian's and like page and like become them? But I've been hacking my 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 bosses. <laughs> you can try. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well let's let's keep on going here. My desktop is a mess. Becoming John Malkovich. Malkovich Malkovich. Let's do some tech tips. Okay, interesting. Why move? All right, well, my point in going here was that I was assigned a job, or a case, rather. Unauthorized speed boosting software. Unauthorized speed boosting software, huh? Well, I guess we're gonna go look that up. I'm cooking up a few new scares for y'all, making a big one with Dark Twilight Teeth. Anyone else doing Hanukkah? I wish I could celebrate Hanukkah. I mean, it, it'd be like this. I don't know how it works, but like, it's like several days of gifts. PlayStation 5, Monster Truck, uh, Sandwich. A Sandwich and a DVD of Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. That's how it works, right? <laughs> you get like seven yo-yos. Also, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that PlayStation 5 still cannot be bought. Like, seriously, what? Will people remember this as, like, badly as the 360 Red Ring of Death? Because it's like, how can, how can people even get PlayStation 5s? I see, like, scalping prices? Like, what? And I know a chip shortage is a thing, but what? Like, what a, what I, I gotta get, flat out say it, what a failure. Like, w w you know, nobody can get this fucking thing. Like, it, it's like a bad launch, it is. Because it's like, nobody can get it. That's to say that the console is back, but like, fuck. <laughs> I got a PlayStation 5 from an invite from Sony. <laughs> okay. Um, the Observer moved out. New game reviews every week or so are from the Observer. We have moved to the freelance. Okay. Opinion, strategy, reviews, and previews. Okay, so they're all in an alliance here, huh? I wonder if I can, like... Are they selling any software that allows you to speed up? I have a fucked idea. Can I flag this? Can I flag this for saying... Hey, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Yeah. Download more RAM, essentially, yeah. Hey, no tips allowed. Okay, let's see what else we got. Anything here? Um, the Observer. Uh, new. I probably should go to the Freelance, too, but... I haven't been to the Court of... Okay, yeah. That's art. Dragon Breeder, Master of Potions, and Lady of Wisdom. Federer has moved to the Psy Freelance. So it's all Freelance at this point. Okay. What about the... <laughs> the CDI Zelda? Psy Statement of Disaster. Official ultimatum for Merchant Soft regarding recent disaster. Oh boy. Okay. Attention Merchant for immediate release. Our... Online. If you're part of the community and your page is loading, slowly go take the Ronnie's test to get Accelerator. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, five pages are deleted. Our pages are down for six hours. A new zone, Starport Castle Company, appears. Pages from five forward zones up here in the zone. Okay, need to go down again. So it's the accelerator that we need to check out. Gil's tunes. Hey, is, isn't that the the Chowder Man song? We need to see this. Gil's ready to shave analysis. <gasps>
I'm, they got the perfect person to the soundtrack of this game. Like, Hot Dad is the perfect composer for this. This like, you know, '90s nostalgia, vapor west, vapor. Like it's it's this feeling that he emanates through his songs. That just is so good for this. Like, oh my god. Four by Gil. That's weird. What kind of music is that? A song about shaving. Get out of town. If I had a penny for every time I heard one of these ignorant statements, I would have a million dollars. Can you blame them? They're just ignorant and uninformed. There's no appreciation anymore of fine art. Everyone just wants it now, now, now. If you really take the time to listen, I listened to this record at least 500 times at least. You'll begin to appreciate the kinds of music you will never thought possible. All you hear now on the radio is flip-flop. I wish it flopped. With lyrics about dirty acts, shooting gangs, or sniffing drugs. What could have happened when a, what happened when real men made real music? Music one could put headphones on after school and get lost in. One could put headphones on. Music for the thinking man. Music where they actually play instruments instead of push buttons on computer. Okay, well, here we go. Here's an analytical thing of the lyrics. Whisk is growing at the speed of light. Put the trimmer into overdrive. Thoughts are running through my mind, just the bathroom and the night. Here we are, we're transported to the 10 cents in the Shadow Man's bathroom. The first verse is a brilliant because it is both a story and a metaphor. A metaphor represents something else other than an obvious thing. His whiskers, a metaphorical representing of the things holding him back in life, are growing at the speed of light. This is about sex. He has to put the trimmers on overdrive to get rid of them. When you put something into overdrive, that means you're testing the limits of that thing. Let's take a car for example. If you overdrive a car, you're running that engine so hot that it could explode. Oh. But the advantage is that you can go really fast and pass all the slower drivers. Back to the song though. He then switches to a more personal few lines where he lets us know that the thoughts are running through my mind and that he's lonely in a bathroom at night. That sets the stage. <laughs> I bet he's in a bathroom at a truck stop. Oh, his hands are trembling as he tries to frenetically shave the whiskers. I get a metaphor for life. <laughs> Spray the shaving cream into my hand. Lather up, the world don't understand. Man inside the mirror now, should I finally let him out? Again, we have two lines that are the metaphor, represents another thing, of shaving, and then two lines that yeah, are very personal. Okay, the line lather up, the world doesn't understand is very meaningful. The world just lets their whiskers grow, they just let their evil consume them until they are running the rat race like all the others, bitter and consummated. <coughs> the last two lines represent the hidden power that comes into play later in the song. He knows that shaving will let it out, but is he really ready? Note, the Chatter Man often brings musical and lyrical themes back later. That is known as a leitmotif in music theory. It is very complex. Wow. <laughs> Guys, what could it mean? It's like an eight minute song, by the way. <laughs> Guys, I want to remind you that Boston song smoking is exactly four minutes and 20 seconds. What could it mean? No way. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it takes a lot of balls as a musician to repeat a chorus over and over again. Because, like, when I write music, I feel like I'm gonna bore the audience if I repeat too many things. But you gotta be really ballsy and confident in your own music to be like, I'm gonna repeat this like five, six times. Because you're like, I know this is awesome, I'm gonna just keep on doing it, you know? You gotta be really confident, you know? Alright. That was amazing. Ready to shave. Interactive theater. Okay, we gotta go to the free zones too, but um, I've been here. All right, well let's let's head out. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, anything here? Adopt a dragon. What's this? Six hundred eighty-two years. Like eating big eggs, flying, drinking potions, adventures, dancing to music, giving rides, and flirting. This one goes in the bin. Okay, Sn snoggle, Lyoth. Eating birds, fish, and whales. Flying, playing in snow, staying in her cave, freezing people, high altitudes. Okay, zapping. Goofing off. Hey, here's my Neopet. Flying, stealing, grinning, and evil laughing. Killing other dragons. Oh, we gotta get this guy. Problem is, though, I gotta feed this ass, probably, right? <laughs> Alright, my potions. Gooberry Delight. Gooberry is Fedrella's famous family recipe passed down from a witch's grandmom. Extra magic mana. Energy makes you smell good. Water plus magic. <laughs> Water is the most famous drink for a good reason. It's good for you and it's in all the rivers. Health, energy, detox detoxification of your body. Animals like you more and lick you. Green Dragon Milk. Pump from the breast of a nursing green dragon. <coughs> Make strong babies if pregnant. Vitamins and minerals like spinach. Mm -mm. Fairy milk. Pump from the breast of a nursing. Oh, this is a this fetish website. This is a fetish website. Can I flag this? Bullshit. Something called vampire milk because this special liquid is pumped from nursing vampires. Don't worry, it's not blood, huh? Oh, I see. It's milk, like lemon mixed with milk. Yeah. Grandma famous elixir, but not grandma milk. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Anyway, stone beer. Hmm. It tastes... Well, I guess that would be granny cream, huh? It tastes like rocks, but it makes you strong like rocks, too. It affects big muscles. Don't drink too much or your muscles will grow and grow until they explode. Do you guys remember muscular Spider-Man? <laughs> That's a throwback. Okay, let's go to the Freelance. It's huge Spider-Man. That's what it's called. Right? Freelance. Here we go. Yeah, it does load pretty slow. Ooh, an adventure, huh? Leadership, an idea by Gil Sanders. Sarah, okay. Oh, and I got treated to Chowder Man again. Thank you, Chowder Man, for giving us permission to use the song Ready to Shave. Check out my page about it. It is quite a deep song. It means a lot to me. Gil, the size steward. All right, let's go up here. Here's the, the bull ring. The Trial of Acceleration. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I love that vinyl slowdown. Okay, what's this? The Trial of Acceleration. Dash is hidden in the Freelands. You shall unlock it. Ah. To the east of Roddy's Bullring, the tree, ah. one north of Casper's Rocket. Ah. Only one pass leads to this place. Look closely at the borders. I don't know Simple Flip's voice acted. Come back here for this <laughs> trial. You will rock it. 
<laughs> okay. A secret stash is hidden in the free land. You shall unlock it. To east of you cannot tell me that this doesn't sound like simple flips. One north of Casper's rocket. Only one pass leads to this place. Look closely at the borders. Once you find this it, is simple flips. Here in this this trial, is so simple. Fl you will rock it. A secret stash is hidden in the free lands. You shall unlock it. To east of Roddy's bull ring, that's me. One north of Casper's rocket. Only one path leads to the. That simple flip ain't clean. Closely at the borders. Once you find it, come back. Okay, here. thank you. In this trial, you will. <sighs> <laughs> You fucked, you will. You fucked. Okay. Uh, here we go. So east of here, huh? All right. Well, let's, let's keep on going. See what else we can find. Starport Castle. This goes back here, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's this? Cybercog Cogulus Collect Collectio happening December twenty. Uh, be there. Welcome to Gary's control room. If you've been to a CyberCog event, you probably met. I've attended over 20 events over the th all over the th country over the last three years. Check out my new interactive illustrated story here. Okay? You are an ordinary person. Nothing. Nobody. Aww. Deep inside you, something calls for release from the meaningless... from the routine of everyday life. You crave the... The coverage of the techno shaman trick. Find meaning. I'm gonna be a nobody. This is clearly the incorrect choice. You think <laughs> you think you choose to pound the boundaries of this digital introduction inside of digital world to a digital world introduction to a kind of like But if I can pursue the punishment, you do not believe you're deserving change involved. You discover the gears of the turn. I weep for you. Damn, dude. Okay. Rap god. Wait, wait, both are wrong? Both are wrong? Find meaning. Oh, there we go. Uh, black lightning cracks the sky like a rusty dagger, stamming the egg yolk heart of a dying machine. God, the faint sounds of a cog's turning comes through a broken window. Sweet smell of hot oil following the appearance of a figure in the living room of your home with a second mortgage. The figure is wearing an ankle-length black trench coat, dark sunglasses with a code floating in the reflection, a pipe holster, and a top hat covering clanking, clanking machinery. It is the Techno Shaman Tricks, the master of Cyberdog. At reject the blessings. Oh, here we go. You reject the Techno Shaman Matrix, closing your eyes tight against this ticking revelation. You go back to your suburban life with your wife and three kids and yapping dog in your second mortgage and a hollow endless job. He did not kill you. But you are dead inside. Damn, that's fucking... Okay, we have- we have to, uh... We have to do this right, okay? Here we go. I have come to save you, Gary, says the techno shamanatrix, with a voice like a creaking engine. I will touch your mechanical mind with the enlightenment of the places you're going. But before I can, you must know something. He finishes with a whisper. What? You scream. This path requires sacrifice. The techno shamanatrix roars. I'm out or follow the path. I'm out. Take the summer matrix shakes his head in disappointment. Your turn to a call real life a shell of a man. Unremarkable, just like the others. Unremarkable. Okay. Follow the path then. <laughs> Let's begin, then, Gary, the Techno Shama Matrix yells officially. First, you must give me your kids. <laughs> what? You say under your breath, but loud enough for him to hear? My kids, why? The time you spend pursuing their interests will drag you from my holy path of the cyber dog. Okay, uh, say no, don't pick this. Seriously, just stop playing if you're just going to fool around. <laughs> okay. Okay, give him one kid. Take it as a surprise that you've held back. You feel his eyes brush over you once more. A red light on the side of his sunglasses blinks. With a flash and puff of green smoke, he disappears. Okay. 
Okay, sweaty days attending soccer games and cringing at adolescent talent competitions melt from your life like scales from the eyes of a person with bravariitis. Give me your job, the master of the cyber dog says. The techno shaman matrix, if that wasn't clear. Board meetings are suddenly a thing of the past. Cyber cog and magic, you couldn't be happier. Give me so your so-called home, the techno shaman matrix hisses with intensity. His suit-covered snuff boots gloving in the moonlight. How could I do that, you might say? The only home you require is the companionship of your cyber cog companions. The Techno Shama Matrix informs you, truth ringing in his voice. Convention halls and sofas. Sofas! Will provide for every shelter. Okay. I swear to God, I didn't read that in a funny Swedish voice. I was like, sincere sofas. I guess it's because in Swedish you say sofa, but whatever. Will provide for every shelter you may have. Okay. Ignoring mortgage payments is easy when the bank calls. Don't pick up. <laughs> Hiding from collection agents is trickier, but if you pee at me, I can give some advice for that. Gary, I know that will be hard for you. The Techno Shaman Matrix begins to intone. Uh, the cog-covered hat grinds out of, a, out of a... Out a condolence. Give me your marriage, she finally says. No. Sitting on the couch with your wife later that night, she'll ask you why you're so distant. What you don't tell her is that because you gave up the one chance you had at happiness for Friday nights watching Desperate in Dallas marathons. Fine, I'll do it. Hello, and thank you for entering the Cybercog. It might surprise you, but this story is actually somewhat autobiographically based. <laughs> I'm Gary. I'm not saying I'm the character, but I'm literally Gary. Guys, I'm literally Gary. I'm literally Gary right now. My name is Gary in real life. Hi. The cyber call community is big, welcoming and growing. If you wish to follow the crank lined path and find increased meaning in a digital world, here's my page with links to other cyber call game pages as well as the cyber call gathering event where you will find our members in a new millennium. I can't wait to see you there. Interesting. So here we can find all this. The Wizard Eagle, an odd but cool duck. What's this? Oh god. Whoa. I'm favoriting this. No! Oh wait, 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 wait. Go back. That's a submarine trip. We haven't been there in a while. We gotta check that out too. Hang on. If you can't find a favorite page, you can still search it. Uh, okay. I think we gotta have the Hypnocure Pro to like look at this because it's a uh, you know an old page. Okay. For now though, let's head to this. I haven't been here in a while. Help me explore the ocean for treasure, and you will not be sorry. Expedition is on the way thanks to Doctor Joey Drip. I am in the planning stage of the expedition. I found a submarine on. And I will use the funds from the rich benefactor to secure and repair it. Here's an image of the submarine. I cannot afford a crew at this time, so we'll have to go on this expedition all alone. I am charting maps and looking for the most likely places of hiding treasures. If I find the treasures, I will bring a crew back to retrieve them and share it with my generous donators. Huh. <laughs> it's meant to be an auction? <laughs> okay, well, he's, he's living his life, you know. Okay, we'll, be, we'll come back here once we have the Hypnocure Pro. <laughs> okay, anything? Anybody else? Interactive Fiction by Gary. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that we've done this entire thing, let's head back to the, the free, free lands. Okay, let's head east. What's happening here? What? How many drugs are you on? Very creative, but you need to remove the animation of yourself from the plot. Also, please remake your page because Net Settler isn't supported in his in Hypnospace anymore. You think it's a joke? You have one last chance to remake your old Net Settler page, or you're gone. No. Can I? No. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, this is all Hypnocure Pro. I got a need for this. <laughs> Guys refuses. What a Chad. Can I move it faster by doing this? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Linus Library are weird. Been there. 
But we're looking for that Excel RIP Gamers Only. What's this? Gamers Only was a home to the Cheat Sheet, the largest database of cheat codes of any sleep time service. They have moved on to Cyber Worlds. The Observe is the only big Go page to stick around. Born November 98 to die in 99. Guys, is CheatPlanet.com still up, by the way? <laughs> What's this? Here lies the five greatest zones ever ever existed. May they rest in peace. The comic shop, home to comic book fans and film buffs, is perhaps the most surprising zone deletion since Roddy's the ringleader. Wall works at Merchantsoft. He is just as surprised as us. It cheats CC now? Shit, really? So Cheat Planet doesn't exist? Okay, I, I was talking about this with somebody recently. Do you guys remember VGEndings.com? Anybody remember this? This is pre-YouTube. And if you wanted to see the ending of a video game, you would go on this website that had like five BMPs or GIFs. Not a GIF, like an animated one. Like static GIF. And it would be like five images to be like, here's the ending. And it was such a fucking cop-out, because you're like, I'm not getting any satisfaction out of this. So before YouTube, you can actually look at an ending. It was just static images, and you're like, fuck, fuck, damn it, show me it, you know? <laughs> Joel is still active? Really? It is? It's probably way updated now, but yeah, this is like in 2002. It's called VG Museum now, okay. Cybercog Station. It's the reason so many of us are here now. After being ignored for so many years by other online services for the Cybercog community, I couldn't believe that the merchant office was actually giving them their own official home. Alas, it was but a fluke and it was shut down nearly a year later. Nary. Sci fi Starport. Unfortunately, most sci fi Starports are citizens. Okay. Here we go. Her new page. Hanukkah begins in only two weeks. Ah! Linda Scaries. About Linda. The comic attribute to uh, Deep. <laughs> Anything hell? Okay. Look at that. See sh hell. Hey, as long as it's not uh, Gumshoe Gooper, you know, I'm fine with that. Horror movie page, any horror movies? I've seen this already. Okay. <laughs> I can listen to Chatterman's music all day. I guess we're heading down. Oh, we got a little little castle here. <laughs> Anything here else we can get? To? <laughs> Have you heard the hot hot dad song about piss? Yeah, th there's some songs about piss. <laughs> okay. And this was the dream station here. We went here. Okay, I'm guessing to complete this section of the game, you need enough money to get the um Hypnocure Pro to like pass this essentially. Yeah. Hate to win. Okay, the bullring fan art. Who is Taurus? A comprehensive story. History, okay. Who is Taurus? <laughs> Hello, here's Virgil. Who is Taurus? Taurus and Mu Mulita began life as the underground creation of Allball Creative of Color, Virgil Timothy in the early 80s. Small, overtly comedic sequences or non sequiturs between situations in a given issue even took on. What? What are you talking about? Corny public service announcements used in the comics of titular Bixie Comics icon Bixie. However, the weird creation soon took life its own after the owners of toy company Gurgil. <laughs> okay, the comic convention with the unexpected support of a major toy company. Okay. The original set of issues. Okay, so the comic book guy. Uh, sentient cape. Sentient capes? It's like Doctor, Doctor Strange shit. <laughs> Okay, uh... Did I tell you guys about when me and my mom watched Doctor Strange on Easter? <laughs> did I tell you about that? Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, I'll tell you the story again if you weren't there for it. 
essentially me and my mom and my dad on Easter, we wanted to watch a movie and picking a movie for everybody to like is hard. But my mom watches a lot of movies, you know, but this movie she just fucking hated because again, she did not accept what was on screen. Like the, the the moment some science fiction magic stuff was happening, it's like she crossed her arms and went, no, you can't do that. As in like, that can't be happening in real life. She was just completely like, I will not accept these images on screen. Uh, it's not real. Like, it's just fucking, I don't know, but he she hated this movie. And it's because, again, I think she hated Doctor Strange. She read the synopsis on like Netflix or whatever, and it was like a surgeon loses his hands in a tragic car accident, and through like Eastern medicine, he regains his power or whatever. And she thought it was like a serious drama movie. And when it was like a Marvel movie, she's like, fuck this. <laughs> so, whatever. Okay, this is a huge page. As you comment in the space of a few years, occurrences were everywhere from cereal box to pocket watch to t shirts. Animal rights groups got a hold of the central conceded series and all hell broke loose. Everyone seemed to collectively realize that this was a comic based on bullfighting, the horror. Brief media panic ensured that the cultural cachet of Taurus and Melita plummeted, and the development feature movie quickly had its funding and marketing budget slashed as a result. <laughs> bullfighting. Okay, Virgil attempted to get the rights for the movie back to avoid a half-finished project killing their character in the public eye. Only to find that the paperwork he had signed with his friends at Gurgle meant he had no rights. He had lost Taurus and Mulita. Aww. The movies, Tar and Mulita, Crime Rush, bombed. A confusing rush disappointment for both fans and creator. Virgil left the comics disillusioned and largely forgotten. Sometimes he reflect in the Hypnospace forums about what happened. For the most part, though, he tries not to. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a shame. Only recent years have Gurgle dared to bring back Taurus and Molita as an inexplicable officers of the law in a techno-cyber future, keeping cartoon villains from destroying the world. Okay, Taurus had a cybernetic eye, while Molita spots sassy catchphrase in a thin, high, comedic voice. The first monster they defeated was an owl attempting to start a bullfighting ring with cybernetic bulls. In Taurus X 2089, the new, the now-beloved characters live in a form that actually seems to like it might stick. The subversive tool of expression for a kooky <laughs> kooky independent creator has become an, a polished inoffensive mascot of choice for a faceless toy conglomerate. What a world. Well, ain't, ain't that some shit. Fan art. Wait a minute. Could this be copyright infringement? No, no, it can't be. How did our classic Taurus? He's much better anyway. Try basic shapes, fill in details, add color. Wow. About Roddy. Okay. <laughs> there he is. The ringleader. Hmm. Ain't that something. Roddy Wall. Programmer. Merch soft work in a hypnospace dream job. No, not yet. Winky face. <clears throat> Gaming computer monarch. Program comics. Reading and collecting. Frisco. Hi, I'm Roddy. Let's see. I dropped out of high school. <laughs> then I became a famous in... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then I became a famous in the world of computer computing after releasing Sandwich Encryption. Okay, he worked with that. Okay. Now I work on Hypnospace space programming some of Dylan's creations. The virtual pets were our pet project. Ha 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 ha. So it comes to this. I support my employers, but I also support friends. Okay. October secret projects for what? Okay. Dylan let me in on the plans for the year 2000 Hypnos updated, but I don't think anyone is ready for what we are ready to put in leash. Wow, just wow. Okay. We just lost three Hypnos virtual pets. There are three so far. Okay, a pink squid. Okay. We didn't have a long time to finish these, so I'm surprised at how well they turn out. Oh, yeah. You sandwich users just might want to download yourself a pet. He he he. Normal pet food is great, but sandwich. Okay. So there's some hint here. Uh, I know that some of you were hoping that Hypnos would officially support sandwich encryption since I was hired here, but unfortunately we can't legally do that. I tried. In other news, I've started working on a little virtual pit project on the deal's many pride parties. This is, this is pretty fun. Okay. Hey, I got permission to make a di diary. You won't believe how hard it is for me to, like, separate dairy and diary. Like... It's very hard. I have to make sure I don't fuck up and say dairy product or diary product. <laughs> Diarrhea. Uh, 
I'm also collaborating with Dylan on the fun stuff. They got a few interns to handle the boring bug squashing. Thank God. Right now, I'm working on some moderation tools for the new Hypnospace Patrol Department. We're going to let our fellow Hypnospace citizens police themselves instead of having us to do it. We all think it's a pretty good idea. Plus, it saves money. And yes, I'm trying to get a sandwich work in Hypnos. Hypno OS. <clears throat> or where, well, the creator popped in to say it's Hypnos. I have a feeling Adrian isn't going to want it since it already has a reputation as a piracy tool, but we'll see. Yeah. Piracy tool, huh? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Well, we went here. Piracy tool. It said right. What's this? Head south to visit Gil, Gil and Sarah's homestead, where the stewards or kings and queens, if you prefer, of the Freelands. Here they are. Please wipe your shoes at the door. You just stepped into the warm abode of Gil and Sarah Sanders. On Gil's page, you'll find fantasy, sci fi, cyber cog art of the Sanders verse, and his, his music. Sarah's page is all about the offline fantasy interactive theater and features a few of his strong opinions. Ha 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 ha. This is an anti sacred garden home. We do not support a touchy feely, wimpy direction their company is headed. Okay. We're the founders of the Sovereign Alliance of Minas. Yes. Oh, so apparently I missed something. Are you talking about this? This right here? Because I think I got that already. It's just a video clip. Okay, well, went here. Gil's page. Oh, I've actually been here. Yeah, this it was here. Yeah, yeah. What about Sarah? Hey, look at this. Oh my god. Sarah's quick opinions. Orlando, Florida. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. Welcome to Virtual Hypnospace Study of Sarah Sanders. I am a 41-year-old wife and a big-time daydreamer. This is my place, so it's my way or the highway. Enjoy your stay. If you hang out around at, at Sai a lot, you've probably seen Gil's art. He made all the map graphics for the freelance. I dabble too. Though my stuff isn't as good as Gil's, I do have my fun making it. Cactus with arrow, warrior boy, buttercup the horse, Sarah... Click your, your page. Santa is the character I play in my husband and my interactive theater campaign. The Sanderverse. She is an archer with a mind reading and telepathic communication abilities. Okay. Though so she's an excellent T archer, she only attacks when absolutely necessary. She feels a strong sense of compassion and empathy for others due to her telepathic abilities. So understanding her enemies and employing diplomacy is always how she tries to resolve things. Okay, I have a question, guys. Does anybody here play D and D in chat? I uh, just curious. It's not like a like a big gaslight. Hoo ha ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I have a question. So when you make a D and D character, like it, it doesn't it take a lot to like role play as that character? Here's my point. If I were to make a character, I'd have to like really make a fucking character, right? Uh, but that but permadeath is a thing in D and D. So, like, you've made your own voice for this character, you've made all this shit, and then it's just, like, bonked in the head and dies. You're like, all, all that fucking six-hour effort to make a character is gone, you know? So, it's all up to you and the DM. Well, I, I suppose, but, you know. Please return to your post. No, I'm talking about D&D. &D. <laughs> the DM can change stuff. It doesn't take that long to make a character, usually. Has anybody just like play this themselves in D and D? <laughs> I get, I get, yeah, yes, yes, probably, yes. Most people. Where's Professor Apple? We got rid of him. Unfortunately, right. Sarah's quick opinions. The blender suggested that this is cheesy. I wonder if I'm missing something because the gore parts I'm using when they're on, but the mission is better than over here. This is an album Stooge puts on while we're gaming. I need him to record me a copy because sometimes I get lost in the atmosphere of the music and forget about our game. OK. 
Okay. Travel review, Orlando, Florida. Orlando is only fun if you're rich. We stayed in a happy birthday hotel there. Happy birthday hotel? And it was adequate, but the most of the theme parks were so disappointed. Most of your time, they will involve waiting in long lines while the sun fries your skin. <laughs> I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland. Just so I can stand in line a lot. It'd be so fun. Guys, did you hear the newest celebrity gossip, by the way? The Kardashians were at like Orlando, Florida, Disney World, and they just caught in line in front of everybody because they're famous. And they got to be on all the rides where everybody else just stared at them. You can look this up, it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Joey, did you see? <laughs> Joey. Okay, somebody said that if I download a pet, it allows me to like crack the codes a little bit. Like there was some hint about that, but I like really. And Joey, did you see? So wait a minute, if I get a pet and I like drag the burger file into his mouth, that seems like a crazy solution, but I'll, I'll try it. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, Casper Air Graphics. Automotive Airbrush Art by... Oh my god. Welcome to the homepage of artist musician Casper Sundberg. For example of Casper's latest work, see the gallery page. Looking for Casper's old music? Head to the music page. There is no Klifta reunion plan. Klifta? Casper World of Real Celestial Showdown. Okay, if you're interested in transforming your vehicle into a fantasy art masterpiece, please see the quote page. Let's take this gallery. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's wonderful. Look at that, huh? Oh, it's so nice looking. I love it. About. Casper has been an artist, but 10 years ago he found his true calling when a music collaborator opened his eyes to the world of airbrush art. After working as a sex success successful successful musician and composer for almost 30 years, Casper took, took an airbrush art in 1989 and hasn't looked back. Casper still is in fantasy and science fiction art, but he's always open to new concepts. Okay, and his music... I was the lead guitarist and composer for the band Klifta from 1970 until 1988. We were famous for our long cosmic rock jams and deep fantasy mythology. Unfortunately, I do not own the rights to Klifta's music anymore, so I can't provide it for download, but a song for my album is playing on my page. If you're p familiar with the Fleece system, you can find some of our- wait, Fleece system? You can find some of the songs there. I personally don't mind if you download it that way. Uh-oh, Napster? Trennis fans might recognize my song Sports Anthem as the official theme of the Trennis North American Open. I'm learning how to record music on the computer and hope to release a record under my name sometime next year. I have to check that out soon, I guess. Ooh, and I can get a quote. Too much money it takes to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Please send Casper a message through Chit Chat or HS Inbox at Casper Air Graphics to inquire about the ca cost of an airbrush treatment for your vehicles or any other kind of fantasy art you need. Casper does not take explicit, gory, or pornographic requests. <laughs> yeah, I... I, <laughs> I want a wizard... Uh, wizard jizz on my, on my truck, please. No porno. Okay. But what's the point then? <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's head over here. The Observer. Here we go. Now we're getting some cheat codes, everybody. If you missed it, update by. Okay, so here we go. Chosen Anointed is a low budget cataclysm inspired first person shooter for Christian audiences. Shelter kids finally have something decent to play. Squisher review. If you have any preteens, there are a good chance they're obsessed with squishers. Is the game actually any good? I'll give it a shot in this review. <gasps> you can actually read it too. A unique slime fest in the game champ's first decent title. No, forgive the blurry screenshot. It is hard to take pictures of the game champ portable tiny screen. <laughs> 
Squishes are everywhere. TV, radio, and the internet. In even hypnospace. If you aren't seeing ads for it, you're hearing tales of concerned parents and addicted children. It's easy to be cynical and write off massively popular titles as the invention of toy selling market marketing executives. Squishes may be that, but as much as it pains me to say it, it's also an excellent game. Okay. Simple bit odd premise, a spaceship containing high-tech capsules full of gooey alien life was shot down over the Earth. It crash-landed on an island and its contents were scattered in the process. Some capsules open, releasing this slimy, squishy creature that's gonna say drop the risky old. 48? There's only 48 of these? Yolki is scared of the his slime. Yolki can't understand his slime's language. Damn. They even got color, you know. Sucking them up in a syringe gun and temporarily storing them in a tank on your back on your back until you're able to return them to their respective capsules. Yeah. I learned quickly how to avoid presenting my Yolki to its natural predator, his slime. Things got messy. So long as your squishers are familiar, blah, blah blah blah. Okay, well I was bummed out you weren't more in depth than the squishers take on the combat. I enjoyed watching the creatures converse. The various states of conversation are cute and often humorous. Well. Wow. What about Chosen? I actually like this. Okay, I want to remind you something. In 99, it was only five years until the AVGN would make his first review. Isn't that fucking crazy? And on top of that, on top of that, everybody, like... In two years... In two fucking years... You know how old AVGN is? I'm not gonna say it because it's give, gonna give you nightmares, but... <sighs> this unsettling fellow is the most massacre for the most... This unsettling fellow is the massacre for an evil atheist children's museum sent a bizarre near-future take on the city of developer lives in the Patriot Hill. <laughs> I wanna play this. Weapon shoots... This weapon shoots tambourines. You can destroy an evolution exhibit with a magic tambourine gun. No, you are not dreaming. Even if you aren't a fan of religion, the thing is so over the top that it's borders on satire. The main character, Pastor Chet, spouts constant religious witticisms and catfishes as you blow demonic forces back to hell. The other isn't quite sure uh, when the faithful will be able to get their hands on Chosen yet. Apparently, there's some holdup with the church that initially founded the project. That's amazing. Why no Hypnos games? The Hypnospace uh, headband is a decently capable piece of hardware. Lots of gamers are on Hypnospace. Here's Drug Runner. We'll play that. Where are the games? Where are the games? Oh, I sent me this over to chat. I've been saying this for four years. Four years. Unfortunately, it isn't always easy to get the ball rolling on things like this. That said, I can't spill the beans, but do look forward to the Hypnos year... Hypno OS? Hypnos? <clears throat> year 2000 update. I think you'll be pleased. And that's a game we've been playing that, like, corrupted everything, so... Okay, let's not do that. Okay, we've got a little, little bit of video game news. Okay, I'm gonna download a Squisher and see what happens. Okay, hang on. Oh god. Here's Mushi. So if I get, download Mushi, he can eat an encrypted file? Let's try it. Yo, think about what you're doing. I never think. That's why I'm a streamer. Okay. Mushi pet. Joel is a Gen 1 squisher. <laughs> All right. Oh, he pooping. Hey, buddy. Yeah. He shitting. All right. So if I... I don't think that was a good idea. Um. Uh, okay. What was this? All seeing... 3y3. What's this? You have been blessed with second sight. What's this? What is this? The fuck is this? Uh... Can I open up two of these? 
sees all. What is this? How do I how do I use this? Huh. It's a cereal box decoder. Oh, there's something there. No, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. There's something here. Can I see the squisher? Oh, also, I just realized, I don't think the squisher, like, needs food. It just shits a lot, too. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Not bad. It does need food. It needs food? Drug runners. <laughs> he absolutely does need food. Oh, damn it! Okay, but I can't really... Like, usually double-clicking on him gives me, like, his info. It needs food. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh. We have the poops in its face. No, I'm sorry! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Uh, they're not meant to feed you the poo! Okay. Actually, it, here we go. Oh no! Buy food! Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Health! Oh, he's dying! He's dying! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I gotta get rid of the poo! <laughs> oh no! No! How do how do I get rid of this shit? How do I get rid of this shit? <laughs> oh no! Help him! No! Don't die, buddy! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Health is going up a little bit if I click on him. What, is it the trash can? I gotta click on it. How do I do this? Trash now. Toss it in the bin. Okay, hang on. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, hang on. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. Where's the trash can? Okay, there, there it is. There it is. There, there it is. Uh, okay, but you can't have to. Shit. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. The launch is hungry. I know. I know. I know. Where is it? Uh, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. He's happy, he is happy, okay. Oh, man. There we go, and there we go. Is there any shit left? No, 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 no stop it. Okay, there we go. He's, he's getting more happy. Getting more happy now. Okay, do you need food? Do you need more food, buddy? Guys, we gotta get this tree of life thing or whatever. Oh, okay. He was not happy with all this shit, but now, now he's happy. He is happy now. Whew! My money. <laughs> Thanks. It's hungry. Drag some icons into it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Actually, I shouldn't be doing that. I should do this. There's still one shit. Oh, I didn't see the shit. There we go. Now he's happy. Now he's happy. Okay, crisis averted, everybody. Whew. Okay, my, my desktop is just a mess. What's this? Little food buddy? Yeah, you got it. Okay. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this for him, okay? It's 40, but... Yeah, because I, I don't have the responsibility to do this, you know? Here we go. What happened to Professor Hopper? Oh, he, he died. He died. Okay, uh... The Tree of Life. Where did it go? There's so much shit on my desktop. My god, I can't see anything. You want a hot dog? Oh my god, he, he ate it. There it is. Okay, so how do I work this? <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at that. Okay, well, uh... So now that we have this... Let's read. Can't afford to feed them. We're not. We've all been there. There's a new stack for the gross food for your pets. Okay. Fertilize. Keep an eye on the tree when you hear the pop sound of a cocoon bursting. Okay. You need to drag things to fertilize it? What, like a hot dog? Well, you just ate it, but uh, alright. He's happy. He's happy. Hey, something just happened. Hey, what, what's this pill? This is not going to be this now, you know. Draw this a poop somewhere. I see it, I see it, I see it. There we go. Now, we're good. Damn it! 
I should have taken the poop into the tree. That would have fertilized it. Damn it. Okay. Well, at least wait for him to shit. Okay. Okay, poo. Poo, damn you. Can I put gumshoe gooper in the tree? <laughs> no. So much pressure, I know. You can restore it? Really? Watch it shit. Okay, now. No, 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 no. No. It won't work like that. I can't feed this hot dog to the tree. Aren't you like on police business right now? Ah. Ah. Resurrect the poo. So I have a pill here. What do I do with the pill? Do I feed it to him? It has to be feces. Okay, well, here you go. Shit, shit. Oh, and... There we go. All right. It's a good system. It's a good system, everybody. All right, so in the meantime, while that's going on, let's go on... on the world. Let's head back to where we were supposed to be. Uh, we were supposed to find the accelerator. And it's here somewhere. Let's see what the hint was again. It's like East two times. Maybe I can use the eye. How would that work on the... Is there any way of doing this, perhaps? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Joe, you have to be careful. Really? No, stop. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Fucked up. Hmm. So I need to use this eye to find the accelerator on this page. Let's get get that up. Anything hidden here? Hmm. I wonder if I can use it on the on the old websites. I don't have the Hypno Cure Pro yet, but. Nothing in the yet. No, nothing here either. Okay, but let's let's go here. Okay, this might make a lot of more sense now that I have this. Nope. Nope. Bro, you are sequence breaking. What do you mean? You are going to spoil yourself. This is for endgame. Okay, thanks for telling me that I'm spoiling myself. <sighs> the eye is the endgame. Really. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know that. Okay. Uh... So, here's my plan, right? I'm guessing the accelerator. Uh, it, I need to get the Hypnospace Pro. Uh, I mean, yeah, Hypnocure Pro. And I need to get as many, much money as possible for that. And then I can go back to this area and get the accelerator, perhaps? Is that it? No? Okay, we gotta fertilize this tree a little bit more. You eat this in the meantime. Eat this too. And a cake, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. You know you don't need the pro. You just follow the hint videos. Uh, hint videos. The eye isn't the end game. Joel is just beef braining. <laughs> okay. 
Let's keep going here. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but, you know. You need I right now. Really? Okay. Hmm. Let's keep going here. Um, so, uh, nothing here. Oh, I didn't see this. I didn't see this page. Here we go. Freelance plot repossessed message Gil. Kevin, the freelance only work because people play by the rules. Your fragrant disregard for the way we do things around here leaves me no choice. But they shut you down. Shape up and maybe you can come back. Oh, I got banned, dude. Huh. Fragrant. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can use the eye to go right here or whatever. Okay. Hmm. So there's something I can do here, but I, I thought the Hypnocure Pro was the way to like go through here. You download a video that gave you a rate of the follow member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, go east twice. Hang on, let's look at that again. A oh, freezer sucks. Easy spot. Show the man. Here we go. A secret stash is hidden in the mm -hmm. farmlands. You shall unlock it. Mm -hmm. Two east of Roddy's bullring. That means mm -hmm. one north of Casper's rocket. Okay. Only one pass leads to this place. Look closely at the borders. Once ah. you come back here in this trial, you will rock it. And I will rock it, huh? Interesting. At least I can keep this guy alive much easier this time. So it's the borders, huh? So, east of the bullring. Can I... No, that's not the solution, is it? I think in the rocket itself... Something up here, perhaps? I was using fucking West to serve. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Let's go up. Joel Beef Branded. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little tired. I'm streaming this for three hours, so. Can I? East and West. Hmm. Mm. How can you be tired? You need to be sleeping to use tiptoes. <laughs> hmm. Treat this like a Zelda one dungeon. But I would need bombs, right? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Sit in the background. Nothing here. Can I use my arrows, maybe? No, not quite like that. Maybe the, maybe the eye? Hmm. No, that's not it either. The lens of truth. Someone said, at least wait for the pages to load, so if I do that, they load faster, you know. Hmm, maybe if I click on this itself? Maybe I gotta go up here somewhere, maybe? Nah, that's not too, like, radical of an idea. Hmm. No, I don't think it's like here. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just found that funny. How you doing, buddy? Are you doing alright? He needs a little bit of pet, you know? Alright, you can eat that, and I just gotta... Don't feed Don't feed the animal shit, okay? The squisher doesn't need that. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's happy. Here lies Mr. Kill. Guys, we need to name this thing. Guys, it's gonna be called Mr. Kill 2. First name I see in quotes, I'm gonna name it. Zane sucks. Zane sucks? <laughs> Alright, fine, Heat Legend. <laughs> sure. How rude. How rude. Can I wear feed this thing? Probably shouldn't do that. Okay, anyway. Let's check out the, the file again. Hang on, so... A secret stash is hidden. Right. In the Greenlands, you shall unlock it. Uh-huh. To east of Roddy's Bullring, the team, right. one north of Casper's Rocket. Uh-huh. Only one path leads to this place. Look closely at the borders. Once you find it, come back here in this trial. You will rock it. So I'm guessing it has something to do with that. <laughs> I was clicking everywhere here, but uh No not quite like that. So I'm guessing go up here. There's like a hidden up here, you know. Uh hmm, maybe I can go here and then up here? No, I don't think so either. So it's north of here, but I wonder if I can like go up here and then maybe I can reach it from the other side so if I go here and then I'm gonna go right and then down maybe it's here maybe it's here somewhere The borders, huh? Oh, there it is! There it is. Stash of acceleration only if worthy. Here we go, yes. Oh, it's a clue, huh? To something else. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The father Final of hint. the Freelands, his cybercogian name, the mother of the Freelands, what she shoots in her game, the amount of zones that Merchant Soft sent to an early grave. So five. Return to the Freelands, south of the Colosseum, and input this code you figured out for your final <laughs> test. I right. really hope to see ya. Okay. So the father of the Freelands, his cybercogian name. So what was it, Greg? Freelands, what she shoots in her game. Greg. The amount of zones that merchants. It was Greg, right? An early grave. Password now one. Return to the Freelands, south of the Colosseum. Okay. Hmm. But the mother, I got to check that out too. How's my buddy doing? Gregnant. <laughs> okay. Let's see what his cyber Cogian name was again. And the Coliseum. What was that again? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Where was the Coliseum? Well, first of all, let's let's uh, wait. What's this? Oh, here it is. Here it is. The final trial. Okay. All right, here he is. So, this guy, right? 
crank my path then. Gil and Sarah. That's not the guy, right? Hmm. This this became quite puzzling to actually figure out. Here we go. Former Cybercoggers. Uh I mean, if, if, if that's not the guy, uh... He has a Cybercog pages. Make sense of this? Uh... Here we go. Is something she shoots? Arrows? The mother and father. Is that, is that what she means? The arrows? So like, uh, arrows, and then uh, five, right? But, <laughs> god damn it! Here, have a hot dog. Don't, don't eat the shit. Don't eat the shit. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> get out of here. Okay, but who is the? Hmm. Hang on. Put it in there, please. The shit glizzy. Quick opinion art. Uh, Deborah. Stop feeding it the shit glizzy. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see your page. The Sanderverse. Play my husband, and her husband is. Wait, I think I just figured this out. Okay, so she is Gary Cyberdog. No, no, no. Gil? So, Gil Arrow 5? Is that it? No. Can that possibly be it? But it's his Cybercogian name. Gil Secret. The Sandiverse. Here we go. Is that it? Is that it? No, I think it. Signal Arrows 5? Hmm. I'll try it. Signal, arrow five. Okay, couch, <laughs> Veliathan. Let's try it. Okay, no, no. He gives his wife's character huge boobs. <laughs> I mean, why not? Okay, signal. Arrow... Arrows 5? I did it! I did it! Okay, download low speed for... Uh, oh, here we go. You're gonna get fucked now, huh? Oh, man. Here we go. To prove that you're a member of the Psy and gain an accelerator. Okay, it's not an end here. There's still a trial. Please answer the following six questions. What is the name of the site's special custom-made zone? That's the Freelance? Oh, God. If you feel like to start from the beginning. Ha, 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 ha. What did Casper Air Graphics do before it made Amazing? That would be... He played guitar in a cosmic rock band. But what, what was that about Swedish something? Wait a minute. Ah. Oh, I can't go back now. It was something about Swedish. What did you say? Can somebody clip that and look it back? <laughs> Alright, what are the short scary stories involving everyday objects called? Hint there were invented by citizen of comic ships. Uh I missed that. I guess I can just get a wrong answer. Alright. I don't know, spookies. Sorry, pal, you just spent a little bit more time getting to know before wielding the powers of the accelerator. Here we go. So it was. Freelance played tuba in the Swedish National Orchestra. Okay, good. It was like 
the Norwegian jazz ensemble, you know. Okay, I remember it was something about the comic shop. I, I didn't check it out, unfortunately. Uh, shit. Uh, I saw it briefly earlier. I know that. He forgot. Funnies. I'm gonna guess it was... Uh... Four? Scary, yes. Okay. Here we go. Which popular dragon adoptee is an impish prankster and a goofball? Hint, the dragon was famous in the dream castle. Uh, yeah, I read them all, but which one was, like, funny? One of them had, like, dragon milk, which I hated. Uh, mozzarella. Was it this guy? Could this have to be the right answer? Who can say? Drathian. Ma margarine. I guess I can still check the the page. I mean, but I want I want I want to gamble and I want to gamble and you just see if I can get it. Okay, this is a complete gamble. Here we go. I think it was not Drathian because Drathian uh, just ate the other dragons. I remember that. Uh, also, I gotta check on my pet real quick. How we do one? <gasps> oh no, he's so unhappy. All right, here we go. See, it was important. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Eat. And fertilize it. There we go. Alright, so it can't be Drathian. Great Dallas. Mozzarella. Fuck it. Yes! Okay, question five. What are Taurus and Molita? Aside from being the best comic book characters in the world, humanoid bull and a sentient cape. Human bullfighter and a sentient cape. A psychic bull and a magic carpet. A mutant ox and a red flying squirrel. Uh, I mean, that was a humanoid bull and a sentient cape. That's what it was. But he also had like psychic, psychic abilities. No, not a carpet. It must be one. Because he was not, he was not a bullfighter. Guess what? That was the implication, but that's not the case. So, here we go. Okay, what highly available cyberdog items grant human superpowers after you're decrypting in special computer terminals? That is, that's data cogs, right? Hey, I did it! I did it! Well, accelerators are free. Okay, donate to all of these great people. Oh, you are fucked now, buddy. Click here to download. I'm gonna download it? Actually, I should probably save this, right? Okay, I'm gonna download it, and then... It's time to report it. Oh, man, you are gone, buddy. Yes! Yes. Okay. Now that we have it, let's install it. Accelerator. You didn't download it? Uh-huh. Message received from dispatch. All right, let's see. Pirate music downloads for Dr. Joe Drip. What's this? Hello, Dr. Joe Drip. This is a content infringement notice regarding multiple instances of unauth unauth unauthorized music distribution reported. So it's Snapster. It's Snapster. Please utilize your enforcement to the report and remove it. Okay, so what, what do we have? Downloading report underscore 10 19 1999. DMC time. Report underscore 11 12 1999. No, I don't need to buy food. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Am I done here? I mean, there must be something else too, right? Free, free, free. Um. If you want to add me to the donation zone, you just ask me. I prefer. Hmm. I mean, I can just close the case, I suppose. Hang on. But I feel there's more to it. Let's use the accelerator first. See, see what happens. Here it is. Enable. 
2x speed. Okay, let's go on the internet. I'm sorry, different. Okay, now I'm super fast. <laughs> Windows G enable. I can still, I can still get it though. I can still fucking get it. <laughs> okay. I can't report it yet. I need more things to report. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Can I get the donation stuff removed? I mean, this wouldn't work, really. Solicitation, maybe? Maybe this works. No violation, huh? Hmm. I mean, it's not cap cash, so it should be fine. Okay, well, let's see if we... how we're doing on the actual case itself. Let's see here. No, 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 I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, my desktop is just a fucking mess here, you know? Hey, I think that's it. That's all we need to do. Okay. Uh, violations, music in floor. Okay, so, so it's the last one here. I guess that's it. Wow, Dr. Joey Drip. Great job removing that malicious or unauthorized software. Hooray. We did it. All right, here we go. Type of violation is content infringement. This is a content infringement noticing recording multiple instances of unauthorized music distribution reporting in the unknown zone. Uh, please utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove them as fast as possible. There's a lot of stuff here. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll have to do that next time because, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be streaming this for like three hours. And I think it's time. Oh, I didn't do this one. Hang on. Wow, Dr. Joey Drip. Great job removing that malicious or unauthorized software. Oh, yeah, we're going to close this too. Wow, Dr. Joey Drip. Great <laughs> job removing that content infringement. Okay, awesome. We got a little extra cash for this. But I'm going to call it here for Hypnospace Outlaw. Uh, yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, really fun today. A lot of progress done. Uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. I can't wait for the next one where we go around flagging Napster, I guess. But uh, cool stuff. And we got another pet too. So there we go. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching Hypnospace Outlaw. Uh, we'll be back soon with more of this stuff. But for now, I'm going to say we're going to do some Monkey Mondays. So sit tight and more games coming up. Don't go nowhere.